chat. Oh, I just realized the stuff is messed up. I got distracted. I was talking to somebody about VTubers. <laughs> I was talking to somebody about VTubers and I have way too many opinions about VTubers. This isn't the first time this has happened either. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Weird! So what's that? That's crazy! That's crazy! Oh my god! Owie! <laughs> Tada! I'm drinking more of this shitty Mountain Dew Voodoo! It's garbage! I hate it, but I have a caffeine addiction. Hi there! I think I'm 250 Poké Dollars! I never expected that you would actually read the TV Tropes page and entry about you that I made! A massive cringe fest, but at least did you enjoy the trope rabbit hole, trope or rabbit hole, our dear lady and savior. I did. It was a magical moment, Henry. Thank you. It was magical. <laughs> <laughs> there we go! The of VP, we shot music. Ten hours, my beloved. My beloved. Dragon Dog, thank you for the 420. While the Graf Spay was fighting off the shore, the people of Montevideo sat down in chairs near the beach to watch... As if it was a spectacle, the salvaged spec rangefinder is still on display at the port, but the eagle with the windmill is not. I thought the rangefinder got taken down as well. Winston, sure, thank you, Tudor. Oh, hello, our pets. Back on rising. Tudor, we helping you house shot today, Pippa. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. We're gonna find the Face Connect streamer house. Hell yeah! Also, everything in 144. Pippa got the coop. Let's go! Oh, Jesus. I hope you're okay, man. I hope you're okay. Best Phoebe, then one dollar when we told us to tell you hi. Hello! I was thinking, the noise is real estate cringe. Let's go. I love real estate cringe. <laughs> I love real estate cringe! <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I feel kind of dead after yesterday. <laughs> I feel kind of dead after yesterday. I ended up... I, I, I laughed so fucking hard at that TV tropes thing. It kind of knocked me out of commission a little bit. Huh. Paul Bannon, thank you 25 cents! Oh, Takashi! Frozen Shark, thank you for those. Happy birthday, Pippa. Also, when you go on our date, would you like to go to Olive Garden or Texas Roadhouse? I can't believe you don't even have to ask that. First of all, we're not going on a date, but second of all, a fucking course would be Texas Roadhouse. Are you insane? But we're not, we're not going on a date. Okay. I wanted to show you guys some more shitty houses. I love this. I love this. This is probably my favorite type of stream. <laughs> this is probably my favorite type of stream. I fucking love our Zillow streams, chat. I fucking love going on Zillow. We're starting off with a video. We're starting off with a video. I, uh, I'm taking submissions, actually. If you go into the Discord. If you go into the Discord. The Face Connect Discord. There's a, there's a thread and you can submit stuff that you want me to look at. I'm not gonna look at your your moist critical video. I'm not gonna react to a react video. Puffy Nickel thing here. Tudor is my friend Rump is weird. <laughs> Zillow streams love. Zillow streams love. Gilded Healing, my Lord, you did a good job on the World of Warships ad. I already have an account, but I gave it a view and a like. Well, thank you! Thank you, thank you! As we go a lot. No, I'm not gonna react to a react video. Jesus. But I wanna show you guys. I want to show you guys. This one, this one in particular caught my eye. It's a Batman mansion. They advertise it as a Batman mansion. And this is the thing I love, chat. This is the thing I love about um, house tours. Is they always call it something that it so obviously years, isn't. The they always call it something so fucking fantastical. They're like, it's a Batman mansion. It's a $25 million glass stunning house surrounded by pools. It'll have like two pools. I'll have two pulls. Stunning, solid gold mansion. It's got some ugly ass gold trim and it looks like it should have been demolished in the fucking 1800s. Stunning, modern aesthetic. It's a cube. The house is a cube. It's a cube. It's a shitty looking cube. They're always like this. I love house tours. They are like, they are like the fucking late night talk show. Tear deception. In regards to houses. But it makes sense, right? It makes sense. Real estate agents are all fucking scam artists, right? 
Real estate agents, they're all fucking scam artists. So it only makes sense that the YouTube content of the same genre would all be scams. It'd all be fucking lies. <laughs> Fluffy Nickeling, do you know what type of house you want, Pippa? I want a cozy cabin. With five bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah, maybe not five bedrooms. You know what? If I could have a dream house, it'd be like a cabin style home in Texas. Somewhere between, somewhere between, with, with five acres of property. I'm talking living luxuriously. I'd never actually be able to do this. I would never actually be able to afford this kind of thing. But I'm thinking like a $500,000 home, chat, between Houston and Austin. In Texas, five to ten acres of land with a barn, four bedrooms, so I have plenty of room for guests. And I have like dedicated stream room and everything. And, um... I should let the music play while I'm talking about this. Um... Guess? Yeah, off collabs. <laughs> off collabs. And... It would all be fenced in. It would all be fenced in with like a fucking privacy fence. Does Laura's income like 50? How many kids? At least three, right? I'm talking about a house right now. Tell us anything. I'm like, if I keep donating, you can buy the house. Mmm. Mm. Oh, and with an emergency shelter. I guess over in Texas, they don't really do, like, basements and stuff, though. Right? The Smiling Demon thing. Find Laura some money for your dream home. What the heck, you? They don't really do, like, um, basements. Because I guess, like, the clay expands and swells and shit. And it actually ends up, like, destroying... Um... Basements. So probably not like an underground bunk or anything, but I'd like a I'd like a house that has like a panic room in it, and I'd like the walls of the house to be reinforced with like brick and steel. Um, I want barbed wire over my fences, and I'd want a security cam set up so that literally every single angle of my house, inside and out, is covered. And, um, what else? What else? I don't know, I think, do those arm security or just remote turrets? Oh my god. No, but it's anything with a $10 double wide on 25 acres of land in the middle of the woods, maybe next to a lake. Woods are filled with Blair Witch stick idols dipped in deer's blood to keep the shitheads away. Oh my god. That's my thing, right? $2 to so you. What a US Embassy? I want a U.S. Embassy or a compound, yes. And I want big dogs. I want actual good dogs, too. Not like a fucking shitty ass little fuck it. People always get like Dobermans and shit. Fuck you. You know what a real dog is? A Belgian Malinois. Wait, that's your thing. Dude, just don't let the ATF accuse you of owning land. <laughs> I want, I want two Belgian Malinois. And they'll be primarily guard dogs. They'll be primarily guard dogs. They'll sleep outside and everything, but they'll have like a decked out doghouse. They'll have a decked out doghouse. It'll be like heated, cooled. They'll have everything they want. They will, but they will be outside dogs. Um, I'd like to have horses again or sheep. I'd like to have sheep again. That'd be nice. Hmm. Maybe some goats. You can milk goats. Did you guys know that? And then I want a big greenhouse. I want a nice big greenhouse. A solid one. Not a shitty one. Not a shitty little tarp greenhouse. I'm talking a real fucking, like... I want to be able to, like, actually fucking grow stuff that would not necessarily, like, be in season inside this fucking building. And it would be secure. Safe, not doing any patching, none of that. It's long, anything, five dollars. Noob, shut up. I got nothing, five dollars. Only the strongest and luckiest capipis will make it to the front door. 
<gasps> a farm prison. I want a farm prison. Yeah. I want. A, I want a nice farm prison. And I want it to be two stories, so I can take a nice, good shot at anybody who comes on my property. Um. Jonathan, up at Daihi, thank you for the two dollars. Pippa, you're describing a ranch house. No, 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 ranch houses are single story. I want two stories, so I can take a nice shot. Sabby, thank you, dollars. Pip, kiki, pippa, pip, pippa, 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 pippity, pippa. Mm. Need a guard tower. Mm. Will there be an armory? Yeah, in the panic room. How big will our master bedroom be? Excuse me, our? Farm animals are a lot of work. Speaking from experience, yeah, I grew up with them. They are a lot of work. I don't, I don't actually have the energy to deal with that and then stream. So again, this is just like a dream. This is just a dream. Just a dream. Hey, Kaylin, with the 169, you'll eat the bugs and live in a cube. Oh my god. You want landmines strategically placed around your house? Not landmines, but like. Maybe some sort of trap like that. <laughs> Just to have capacity. If I need to. I build the righteous thing. Find those. Congrats on your wow ad. Not like. Or now that you sail boats, you shall be called Skip a Pippa. Also get some land in South Carolina where it's cheap and you can clear it. Mmm. Hey, this evening. Two dollars a hammer, Pippa. Hope you're doing well tonight. Thank you. You know what? I also want like a fucked up pet. I... I want, like, a fucked up pet. That I'll have, like, right at the front of my house. Crocodile? Some... Unironically, something like a crocodile. I want, like, some sort of fucking pet that people are gonna look at it and they're gonna be like, I'm not gonna fuck around and find out. Like, I want something that will fucking eat somebody if it comes on my fucking property. Sorry, I, I just called a person that... If they come on my fucking property. Like, unironically! <laughs> Saying two dollars a dream, but you have a real shot at getting it. Mm. Ugly bastard thing, five dollars. Pippa unironically wants to live in the wake. Oh, come <laughs> down. <laughs> a tiger, not a big cat. That's way too much work. Sleepy project thing, two dollars. Giant African land snail. Oh my god. Maybe, maybe again, just like the big ass dogs. Maybe the big ass dogs. I want it. It's about sending a message. I'll bother the right to thank you, two dollars. Get the get you a Wendigo. We have them here. I'm a task getting about dollars. It's perfectly legal to buy a functioning tank in the United States. Mm. Get a hyena. Something. Something. I don't know what. Something that can actually fucking kill people though. What's your name? Dollars on band stream. Where's I'm shadowed again? Bigly sad. What do you mean you're? What? I thought I saw your messages in chat not that long ago. What do you mean? Eat people's walls. They might eat their skin. Ooh, sleepy. My way, thing. Do get a pet boar? People aren't intimidated by boars, though. Maybe like a big ass bull. Maybe I'm thinking, you know, like if you're in Texas, do as the Romans do. I could get something like a fucking Texas Longhorn. Big ass Texas Longhorn bull, and I can just have that shit roaming around the front yard. Within view. So have that big ass privacy fence, right? Have a big ass privacy fence? And from the front gate, all you can see is the fucking bull. So you know if you go in there, you're in for a bad fucking time. You'll have the bull, like, on one side, and the big-ass dogs. And their big-ass dog house. Right next to the front gate. A bison. Ooh. Seems good eating. That'd be funny. Mm. Funny girl does not care for visitors. I do not. I do not like people coming to my house. I do not like people around my house. I... <sighs> There is nothing that I like less than fucking solicitors and not because, oh, it's so annoying to go answer my door. I don't fucking answer the door. I don't. I stand there gun in hand waiting to make sure that they leave. Auxiliary character thing. Find dollars need a hallway at the entrance with a balcony over the top from which you could throw a grenade. Oh my god. Chad, if I just hear noises, I pull out the gun and start investigating, chat. Like, like if I hear people... If I hear people outside my house... Just a bit too loud. Anything like that, chat. 
It spooks me. I don't like it. I don't like it. So if I am to have, like, a dream home, nobody's getting in. Nobody's gonna want to get in. People are gonna look at that house and they're gonna be like, nah. So I'm not thinking $2, you should get a platypus. That's not very scary. That's not very scary. You need to chill, though. I don't need to chill. I don't need to chill. I've had my house broken into. It's not fun. I should wing that you with $20. It's not fun. Why take chances in life, chat? When I can make sure nobody's ever gonna fuck with me. Mr. Flipple, thank you for $5. Get the dog with bees in their mouth or when they park, bees come out. That's a pretty big burden. Neon Swag Lord 10, thank you for $5. First time catching the, pip the live tip experience. I've only seen your stuff for a month, but you already wormed your way into my heart as another Oshi. Well, thank you! Well, thank you! Uh, Gilded Hero, thank you for $5. Listen, chat, it's a 0% chance of Pippa shooting a visitor. Until at least a second magazine. Oh my god. Fuck off. Infernal Saxon, thank you for $5. Shadowversity said if you want to collab, just contact them. Well, I guess I'm shooting them a fucking DM. Uh, Azure, wait, did I say thank you for $5? I think I did. I think I did. But take it, take it! Okay, we're supposed to be looking at this house. We're supposed to be looking at this house. Also, by the way, chat, just remember that the apocalypse is not an unreasonable thing to worry about. And that it might not necessarily come in the form that people say it will. You know, people are always like, Oh, you know, like 2012, oh, giant tsunami, oh, Yellowstone's gonna explode, blah, 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 blah. You know, people talk about all that shit. Chat, that's not what it's gonna be. That's not what it's gonna fucking be, chat. You know what it's gonna fucking be? Is there's gonna be another fucking war? Maybe there'll be nukes, maybe there'll be bombs, who knows? But it doesn't matter, it doesn't even need to get to that point Because remember chat, it doesn't take much for an entire fucking nation to fall We've seen it throughout the history books chat And you know what fucking happens chat is... A lot of bad shit But what else do you think my boys? Nobody's afraid of a boar until they meet a boar And then they will always be scared of boars if they survive it mm. Well, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. I've all the right to think do those flamethrowers are 100% legal and great for cooking. Well, I think find those experiencing a break-in valid consider an electric fence and their <laughs> artillery and spike pits for those stubborn visitors. <laughs> mm. I'm not sure if a nation falling counts as the apocalypse. It might as well be in the US. <laughs> Listen, if the United States of America falls, what the fuck do you think is gonna happen? What the fuck do you think is gonna happen? That shit ain't gonna be pretty. Fluffy Neko, thank you, dollars. My sister is cringe. Tell her to stop, please. Oh. Stop being cringe, ne Fluffy Neko's sister. <laughs> so anyways. So anyways. World peace! Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Sliding glass doors open up. This Look at this house. To the main backyard. This is a Batman-inspired yeah, house, and I don't believe it. Jacob Ella uh, or Jacob and Ellis, thank you for the ten dollars. Just saw World of Warship videos. I love how you told the story of the Grash Bay and her captain. You plan on making more World of Warship videos. Also, now, cool hearing Sabaton's Bismarck in this house. We started in the garage, Maybe. The ground level. Maybe. If they don't delete the account, I'll keep playing. Copyright's next thing. dollars. Who's ready for the diesel crisis next week? And all the guest quarters. We're the best. Yeah, there's no bats. The floor that we're on right now, living room, and it leads you to your Oh, one more thing about the about the Pippa compound. The compound can. What party thing to do? Start learning Mandarin. Wouldn't be a bad thing to do. Um. Anyways. Hold on. That thing, one Don't worry about apocalypse rules. You'll die no matter how prepared you are. Oh my god. Brandon thing, five dollars. Texan here. We have Longhorns for sale on Craigslist all the time, and yeah, being broken into sucks. David Hunting, two dollars. What liability do I have for making lethal doors? Well, I don't know how. What, what do you mean by a lethal door? But one more thing about the Pippa compound. If I make a if I make a compound kin, it's gonna it's gonna have tinted windows because I'm I don't I don't believe in this open window shit. Chat, I just unironically I don't understand why people have windows that are not tinted. I think that is some really fucking stupid behavior. I do not understand. I genuinely, chat, do not fucking understand why people do not tint their windows. I don't. I don't. The only thing that can go untinted, in my opinion, sunlight, well, sunroofs. If you have, like, a roof on your house that is, like, glass or whatever, 
I think that is fine to leave untinted. As long as you have like a very secure perimeter. You need a very secure perimeter and it should be bulletproof glass. But when any window that other people can see in from like the street or from like the front yard or whatever. Wherever the fuck they are. That needs to be tinted. That needs to be tinted. Satellites, Pippa? Well, you usually have like small sun... like... Sm small ones of those. And then they also make these little light dispersal panels. You can put one of those up. Drapes, Pippa? But you'd have to keep your... That's what I do. That's what I do. I have drapes. And you know what happens? I never open my drapes. I never open my fucking curtains, chat. I don't. It doesn't make any sense. There is no reason to ever open your curtains. Ever. You should not do it. People can see inside your home when you do that, chat. People... See inside your fucking home. The vitamin D, though, will go outside for a little bit. It's safer to go outside for a little bit than it is to open your curtains. Fluffy Neko, thank you, dollars. Literally me, for real, for real. Windows barred? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Do you go outside? Sometimes. Until I see a person. I went to go brush my dog the other day. I went to I went to go to the back porch to brush my dog. And I saw I saw a neighbor kid just staring. And I just closed the door. The backyard where we have the infinity edge pool and then you have fourth and fifth levels which are your outdoor Don't terraces. open your curtains. Overall we're going to see all these levels. I just want to mention it because as we go... Full sunlight level, LEDs, yeah, you can get like LEDs and shit, that, that, uh... But this is a layout. You can get like property. sunset now, replicating stuff. Instead of going this way to tour the backyard, I actually want to take everybody back to the second floor so we can tour the guest suites. Okay, let me, let me let me click back here. Way. Look at that yeah, fucking but... yacht, holy shit. Oh, you guys can't really see it, it's cut off, hold on. There's a giant fucking yacht in this video. But see, like, why would you want this? Now everybody can see into your house. They can assess your property and they can <laughs> steal it. They can make plans to steal it. Chris Adling, do you know Pippa the neighborhood? <laughs> I'm not a hermit. And I'm not insane. Because insane hermits? Insane hermits don't leave the house at all. But sometimes I go to my back porch. Bravo, play thing, <laughs> my noise. Don't forget the Patriot surface to air missiles for those pesky airstrikes. Oh my god. The Juliet Balcony. That's the thing, chat. That's the thing. People make like the funny, haha, <laughs> insane memes and shit, right? You know, like, oh, oh, Pippa, Pippa, are you, are you, oh, Pippa's, Pippa's being a weirdo, Pippa's a hermit, Pippa's, uh, crazy, crazy, <laughs> oh, it's a schizo roleplay. Schizo roleplay would be one of those people that holds up, never leaves the house, has a huge, <laughs> like, stockpile of canned food and everything. Usually, the schizo people are the stupid people. Ash Phoenix Angle Front Doors, Tenma made the claim you were in a relationship with Bugs Bunny. Is this true? No, that's a lie. The schizo people are the dumb ones. They are the dumb ones that have like the fucking they have like a huge stockpile of canned food, but they don't have any sort of like actual like renewable resources going on. They're not like doing anything to like plan for the long term. They're just like, yeah, if I stockpile a bunch of cans and build a bunker underneath my property, I'm gonna be good to go. Those are the dumb schizo people. The, 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 the actually insane people are the ones that just don't leave their house at all because they're scared of people, but don't realize that just by not leaving your house, you are also making yourself a bigger target because when people see that a property is low activity and they don't see change on it or anything, they'll start scoping it out and shit. They'll start like, they'll start, they'll, first of all, they might think it's like abandoned or whatever. They might, they might, Think you're an easy target? It's not. Those people are dumb. Change your melting five dollars. If there's a person with a quarter mile of my house, something's already wrong. You really thought this through? This is just this is just what happens when you actually do think about it. 
This is what happens when you just act, when you, when you sit down and you actually think about it. The problem is, is insane hermits and stuff are insane. And they don't think about it. They're just dumb. But these are things you should actually be concerned about. Fluffy Neko thing, dude. Good tip if you leave the house, leave a light on. <laughs> leave the light on. What I do? Hmm. <clears throat> what I do is I leave a light on. And I leave on, like, podcasts. Or I leave on, like, streams and stuff. On You can put one in, like, the living room or whatever. You can put one in, like, the bedroom. Make sure there's, like, multiple sources of noise. You can put on, like, ambient sounds of, like... <laughs> Of, 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 like, rustling or, like, party noises or whatever. Just something. Just something. So it sounds like there are people in the house. That's a hard thing, my daughter. Did you see that one streamer girl with people living under her house? I did not. Day trauma hat cast anything, my daughter. Flip it, you're 100% right. Keep the shade shut in your front door. Booby trap. That's dramatic. You don't need to booby trap your front door. Just bring a gun with you. That's a hard... Oh, I already read that. Al Bandit, thank you, 586. Why are you talking about yourself in the third person? Because I am different from most people. Because I am unironically not crazy. Unironically, I am not crazy. I am just more prepared than the average person. She... I read that. Gilded Hero thing about the- WHY ARE YOU POSTING X's?! Gilded Hero thing about those 130 other drivers have the key to my home. semi truck all keyed the same. That's fucked up. Inks is saying it to us. You're paranoid only up until you're proven right. Damn right. Damn right. Okay. Anyways, the video. Rex Arana thing. I'm not schizo. Buddy, you have love. I'm not schizo. Jeez, what else you need? Yeah, really incredible. I actually, actually like. Look at this. Look at how fucking easy it would be for somebody to come up and rob your goddamn house. Look at this. You know, chat, most break-ins happen during the day. Why are rich people so stupid? Why are rich people so fucking stupid? They look really cool. Add up to the mid-century modern kind of vibe to this house. Yeah. Now, another detail I want to point out, Mikey, can we pen up to the ceiling? Because they're rich? We have these They always have, like, these very open... On top of the roof assembly. Oh, my God. And that's where they have these plants. I don't know the name of these plants, but... They don't require any watering. They just stay alive and give a little shade and protection over the entire glass assembly. And today is not super, super fuck? sunny, but on a sunny day, they just cast this beautiful shadow the fuck over the face. Where's one thing for the five yeah. girls? And, the uh, Pipkin who sleeps with a machete under his pillow is a fool and every night but one. Mm. I'm genuinely curious. By the way, don't sleep with a gun under your pillow. That's fucking stupid. That's another thing, like, insane people will do. That's the thing, Dad. Insane people are stupid. And they will do shit like sleeping with a gun underneath their pillow. Dad, that's how accidents happen! That's how accidents happen! So Let us know in the comment section. Shady Grand Thing, aren't you, Yeah, definitely raided this house in Sports. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, uh, <laughs> the developer yesterday told me, but I forgot the name. I got noise, aren't you, The rich are used I'm to being to a lot of safe, on this soft story, light. I mm. unfortunately forgot the name of the plant. If we get any comments from people like, Innis doesn't know the plant names, uh, you know. There's less. That's another thing I'd want in my house, chat. Some sort of self-defense tool. It doesn't necessarily have to be a gun. But some sort of self-defense tool within arm's length, no matter where I'm at in the house. And if we could go, like, full-on crazy fantasy, right? If you have, like, multi-millions of dollars... Why don't you install, like, emergency buttons that'll put your house on, like, a lockdown mode and automatically call the police? I guess nowadays you can just use your phone for that. I don't know. For right, thing uh, thing of five dollars. Be prepared, not skits, I'll be smart. Yeah. Oh, Leo City. Oh, they do? Oh, okay. My Leo City thing for dollars. Prep work falls through when you meet a smart thief who scoops out the place to see who leaves and when. Exactly what happened to me a year ago. That's why you don't have any sort of schedule. And that's why... When you do, like, prep your house and stuff... That's why things like dogs are invaluable. That's why other living creatures are invaluable. Because your house never this has to be pee truly pee left pee alone. This is my pee pee. I should wait for the $20 again! Belly, Dura, Despicia, I'm Victor Piano. That's why... 
I have strategically placed knives and sold wooden canes in my home. I'm crazy thing. I'm a big to be wild. The VTubers I get invested in hardcore hikikimoris. I'm not a hardcore hikikimori. I leave the house. That's not in the comment section. I'm don't, admitting it. Don't challenge him. I just don't have a schedule. I'm out. Yeah, unironically, don't have a schedule. You might be like, but Pippa, most people have to go to their fucking job and shit, Pippa. Most people, what, Pippa, I have to take public transit and the bus comes at a certain time. Well, motherfucker, there's this little thing called not leaving at the same fucking time every day. There's this little thing called hiring somebody to come check on your house every once in a while just so you have activity around your house. If you do have to leave frequently. And then on top of that, well, like, that one's kind of extreme, but what you can do for the most part is have, like, an active security system non-stop. Johnny Tarn, thank you for coming big pee-pee. The Dragon DA fan, thank you for coming big pee-pee. My coworker and I used to watch these type of videos for some reason. The houses we toured had bathrooms everywhere. What the hell? That's your reason, thank you for big pee-pee. Hey, Pippa, thanks for making my week bearable. After my 250k worth of firearms got seized in my job, I half my weight since I can't be armed. <laughs> thanks! Jesus fucking Christ. We talked about that on Twitter a little bit. That's fucking insane. Jesus. Uh, ADT sponsorship? Oh my god, anybody that puts those little signs out on their, por on their property that are like, This house monitored by ADT. You deserve to get robbed. Him no respect anyone, 333. They don't get robbed for the same reason nice neighborhoods aren't hotbeds of crime. Proximity. We'd see constant reports of rich people getting robbed if this vulnerability was a real problem. <laughs> Binary ghosting. Find the list. I run a business where people hire me to check on their homes and then I rob <laughs> them. What? I was anything to the A big iron on your hip is always in arm's reach. Mm. Chat. People are like, well, rich people, rich people don't get robbed. You know, well, you never hear about rich people get... What just happened recently, chat? I'm not gonna get into it, but what just happened recently? Certain politician. I'm just saying. Alright, let's continue. Don't make me start learning all the names of the plants as well. Exactly. We have resistant AC diffusers and resistant plugs. And like I mentioned earlier, since we have glass walls, you need space to run your utilities. And in this case, they put all the AC ducts in your electric. Kind of amazing, Dolores. The sign implies we have things we're stealing. It wasn't a break-in. I'm gonna have to look up what happened. Lines into the floors. Coming this way, we have sliding glass doors. Just know it was staged. Sad. I don't know if it was staged or anything. Okay. I don't care. The point is, is if you have enemies out there, they might come and try and fucking kill you. If you have things other people want, they might try and fucking kill you. That's just the end of it. That's your reason, the noise I had a misdemeanor char stalking charge since I took a job against a lawyer a few years back. Screw Canada's bill, C21. Also, my adoptive dad died and broke a finger. I broke a finger. Hopefully I'll get my U.S. citizenship soon. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus. Well, I hope you make it to the U.S. Red remover, thank you for $5. It's an even numbered year around November. Things always almost happen to politicians and certain parties during these times. It happened on both sides recently. Like, no shit the government stages stuff to cast fear in the hearts of people voting, but like... It happens on, like, both sides. And it doesn't matter what kind of year. And it doesn't matter if it's, like, a celebrity or not. Or a politician, I mean. It doesn't matter if it's a politician or not, because celebrities get robbed, too. <laughs> celebrities have people break in, too. Streamers have people break in. You guys remember? Philip DeFranco had people break in. That's your reason. Uh, Two dollars serves me right for being an ex-fed, Lamal. Mmm. Karma. But you don't deserve all that, man. Burgerton, thank you for dollars. He was found naked with the intruder and people are suggesting he's a male prostitute. Also, the window was broken from the inside. Mm. Yep. And this I think the one you guys are thinking of is not the same one I was thinking of. I think you guys are thinking about the Elon Musk one. The one Elon Musk tweeted an article about. I'm thinking of a different one. This is the outdoor space that we have on this level. Again, very intimate, very quiet. 
sometimes we get these properties with big acreages and it's nice to have all that outdoor space but sometimes it feels nice to have an intimate setup like this out of all the righteous and two dollars 250k in guns gone my hard hearts man when some thank you for the dollars reds onto something here some numerology stuff spring tap thing and i won't forget about pewdiepie getting robbed i don't remember landscape. pewdiepie getting robbed it's just very private you have great views to accompany this space it's super nice yeah you have small outdoor areas and large outdoor areas here we haven't seen the large ones yet we'll see those in a yes. little bit throughout all levels also yeah i feel like this is a type of property that you don't want to wear shoes all that i'm wearing shoes because i'm wearing a suit if I lived in this house, I'll walk around barefoot all the time, whether I'm indoors or outdoors. Now, let's go back in so we can go toward the other side of the living room. Now, between the two seating areas, we have this opening taking us to the storage closet. And within this room, we also have a power bathroom and your future wine cellar, meaning you have the space for it, but it's currently not finished. Now, a couple more details about this property. It took the developer six Ooh, years to build this yeah. property. It was completed last year. Yeah, Chad, I'm talking about... Um, and it's not an easy process to build a house like this because... We I wasn't were very, sure very if it like got lot. shot up, shot it's up, but... um, a good lot. I would like the details were. they did a great job utilizing but, uh, all the levels that they... Let me... I'm not sure if this was like at, I don't know. Recognizing, do dollars talking about the rep who had his house shut up? Yes. Yeah, the guy in North Carolina. Fataku thing, $10. The, the Pelosi's have some of the best security in the world. Usually Paul dismissed. I'm not talking about this one. Security detail because he was doing Walter Rocks and contracting monkey. Oh my God. I wasn't sure if it was like his house. I don't think it's his house. I think it's his parents' house. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter, Chad. The point is that this shit happens. Terraced and tapered to build as many outdoor spaces no, as possible. No, I'm not reading the note out! Possible. This is getting so but off the rails. Very... You know what? We're just gonna go straight to fucking Zillow. We're gonna go straight to fucking Zillow because I keep getting distracted and now we're getting into now we're getting into like more more yabai stuff. So anyways. <laughs> it is deep. yeah, I can't bleh. My brain isn't working. My brain isn't working today. Not even watching the videos anyway. Yeah, I can't stay focused on the video for long enough to actually talk about it. I can't stay focused enough on the fucking video to actually talk about it. Cat, look at this thing. Is it that boring? Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. I think I'm just very easily distracted right now. I'm low energy and that's making my brain dart all over the place. Got to review thing. What does 100k get me in Texas? That's all I'm worth. Pretty decent property and a decent house. Background noise thing with two dollars. Fishman breathes a sigh of relief. It's hard to talk about that kind of stuff to like politicians. Because it inevitably <laughs> devolves into like what that super chat is. Look at this fucking house. How much is this? It's off the market, but the Zestimate is 1.9 million. How much did it sell for? If you scroll down, you can usually see how much it sold for. It sold for 75... 755,000. Is that a character thing? It's not a mansion, that's a rust base. That's not that bad. Wait, where is this at? It's in Prescott, Arizona. That shit's wild. This looks like it'd be like a fucking Airbnb or something. What the fuck? See, look at that. That's stupid. That's stupid. Somebody could camp like right outside your property, Chad. Somebody could take a vantage point up here in the hills or some shit, sneak around, and they could fucking snipe your ass. This is terrible. Yeah, you're so exposed. <laughs> terrible. People can see everything you're doing, chat. They can see everything you're doing. Somebody can sit right outside your fence here. Your fence is right here. They can sit right out here and they can film you. That's fucked up. Also, I wonder how many birds hit their window. 
I won't feel safe until she lives in a floating airship that's always on the move. Oh my god. That's the point, Pippa? People like that? People like not having any privacy at all? Gotcha reason, you know, as they seized and destroyed one of the three KS-23s in the world? Even. I don't know anything about that, man, but I'm sorry. Those are actual degenerates? Mm hmm. If you have this much property, you should put up a... You should put up a radio tower. If you have this much property, you should put up a ham radio tower. <laughs> so you can communicate in case of emergencies. And he's referencing two doors, not if I snipe them first. But I'm at two doors? Oh, she pretty out that's near me. Let me don't. Mm. It doesn't look that bad on the inside, but it also just doesn't look like a house. Right? Like, doesn't this look like... I don't know, this looks like the set to a movie or something. It doesn't look like a house. Background noising, do I look like an aircraft control tower? That's your abusing, two doors. It's a prototype 20mm shotgun, 6 gauge Russian. Hmm. I don't know anything about that, I'm sorry. Photographer, five doors. Is this a Yubi game? Do I have to climb that to reveal the map? Yeah. That's a fake fireplace. Rich people and having fake fucking fireplaces? What the fuck is up with rich people? You can have the real thing. So why don't you? Why? Aesthetic? Costs money. So does gas. This is dumb. This is dumb. I don't understand the appeal of fake fireplaces, Jet. I don't. You can put the same thing on your TV to achieve the same effect. Hello, <laughs> the dark thing, Red Lords. Pipkin thinking about line of sight in mansions in case of a battle royale. Not in the case of a battle royale. But in the case of practicality. Without the warmth. Like, they emit warmth and shit, right? But it's like, it's like fake. It's like fake. What are you gonna do if your power shuts off? What are you gonna do if your power shuts off? Are you gonna pop them on the fucking generator and turn on your fucking fake fireplace? Is that what you're gonna do with your valuable electricity? That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. You can't even, like, cook anything on it. In case of emergency chat, you can't cook anything on this. The gas is toxic. You can't roast marshmallows or do anything comfy over this. You know what I was able to do growing up? Open up the fucking wood burning stove. And roast fucking marshmallows from within my house. You can't do that with this. It has no soul. It's poison. This is terrible. There's nothing to do. Look at this. You can't put bookshelves anywhere here. And there's no bookshelves bu built in. Carbon monoxide? That's why you have a chimney. Pippa thighs save lives. Think about 550. Fake just like 95% of their personality. The lizard people can only imitate human emotion. Way too much glass. Way too much glass. I want to throw a rock at this. I want to throw a motherfucking rock at this. What is that? IS THAT ANOTHER FAKE FUCKING FIREPLACE?! ARE YOU SHITTING ME?! HOLY SHIT! WHY?! IT'S IN THE MIDDLE OF YOUR FUCKING KITCHEN! WHERE'S YOUR FRIDGE?! Oh my god, was the- Did the fridge ruin the aesthetic so they say no fridge? They got rid of the fucking fridge so it wouldn't ruin the aesthetics. I'm gonna lose my mind. Andre browsing five dollars doesn't need to make sense, Pippa. The rich have money to burn. Mm. Echo noising dealer. Pippa wants functional. The rich want showiness. It's in the cabinets. That's cringe. 
That's cringe. Are you telling me I'm gonna have to bend over every time I wanna grab a fucking gallon of milk to make a goddamn bowl of cereal? There's no cabinets in here or anything. There's no pantry. Oh, I accidentally turned it blue. There's no pantry? There's no... if There's no, like, anything. Where's your freezer? Is that also underneath the cabinets? Well, you're not gonna have much fucking stores. No, you're not gonna have much storage. He's just saying, did always put in survival mode today. I'm in common sense mode. I'm in common sense mode, chat. That's all it is. Is if you think about things for more than 10 seconds. This is terrible. Look at this. Your cat. You have a fucking table right here next to your cabinet. That's. That's. So inconvenient. This is so inconvenient. Look at this. All these other houses can spy on you. You're completely exposed. All these other houses can 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 spy on you. They're gonna watch you sleep. That's horrifying. Oh, I guess that's what this is for. Is you pull this over to have some semblance of privacy. Maybe? I can't tell. I honestly can't tell. Also, this looks terrible. Is this really the best you could do? Is this really the best you could do with this situation? This looks fucking horrible. God. Another fake fireplace. Holy shit. Oh, there's a fridge. Wait, why does this look like a fucking... What? This looks terrible. Looks cheap and rushed. Yeah, this looks really cheap. Jesus Christ. What the hell is this? Why is there no access point to up here from down here? I'm talking about chat practical design why don't you put a fucking staircase right here so if i want to get up there i can get up there you're telling you're telling me if somebody comes out here to overlook this shit if they want to get to this shit they're gonna have to fucking walk all the way back why why or a ladder they could put a ladder there yeah Just jump, bro. I guess you could. You could just jump. I'd probably fucking use this shit as like monkey bars to play around. Jesus. This is terrible. This looks like an RV. Oh my god. Why? Just why? It's a pretty view in the backyard, but I just don't understand. Like, why... What? Oh my god, and there's more up here. Oh, this is the walkway? What the fuck? There's so many tiers to this. What the hell? Why? This is so weird. Is this really a house? There's no way this is really a house, right? This feels this feels more like it's supposed to be like a like a party mansion. This feels like something Jeff Bezos would buy just so he has something to fucking meet with the with the CEO of Walmart when the CEO of Walmart is hanging out in fucking Arizona to be with his family or whatever. That doesn't that doesn't feel like a house. That's terrible. That's fucking terrible. At least they know it's not worth as much as it probably fucking would be... ...if you spent those resources building like a proper house. But this shit is weird. 
Yes, that's exactly the scenario, Pippa. <laughs> Background noise, Angel Lord, is a failing grade across the board from Pippa, yeah. I'll call the righteous, Angel Lord, this seems more like a repurposed outpost station? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But all I know is it's a fucking awful house. <laughs> this feels like something a rich person would buy just to be like a one-off beating point. Maybe something to host parties at? Who's hosting parties in Prescott, Arizona, though? Who the fuck is hosting parties out in Prescott, Arizona? That's terrible. I like the look of the front walkway. Yeah, the front walkway is kind of nice, but... Inspired by Firewatch? Mm. Do you not? No, I do not. I've never been to Prescott, Arizona, actually. Prescott? Aw, oh, man. I feel bad doing that because it annoys the hell out of me when I see other people do it. Okay, so Prescott. Okay. I gotta go saying, Dolores, please stop bullying my house. No. Right? I listen. I was watching Bowles. Bowles does true crime or whatever her new channel name is. And she was talking about... She was talking about, uh, Rachel Dolezal. And Rachel Dolezal was in Spokane, Washington. And she kept calling it Spokane, and I was sitting there like... It's not... It's not pronounced Spokane. It's pronounced Spokane. It's pronounced... Spokane! That's how I said, no, it's pronounced Spokane! It's pronounced Spokane! Jesus. Oregon? People call it Oregon. It's not Oregon. It's Oregon. It's Oregon! It's Spokane? It's not Spokane, it's Spokane. I have never heard anybody call it Spokane. Except for fucking foreigners. Nobody calls it Spokane. I just did. Fuck you. As a person from Spokane, Pippa is saying it right. Thank you! Our Wii Shop music ended. <laughs> I'm killing my throat. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. I have a, I have fucking recordings to do and I'm sitting here killing my throat. I'm so dumb. I need to, I need to, I need to chill. I need to chill. I have recordings to do by the end of the week. Okay. So, Dank Boy sent this one. I'm considering putting a castle here in Florida, but I genuinely like it. Fuck it. I will. And he sent this. He sent this. Chateau Artisan, also known as Redlands Island Castle, or the $12 million moat house. $12 million moat house. Oh dear god, another idol is straining her voice? Well, thank god I'm not an idol. I'm just an idiot. I feel like this is something that people would say looks phallic or something. Like, I don't quite see it. But this just feels like it would be something that people would be like, Haha, -ha, this looks sexual. Does it not? It has like that kind of like weird symmetry to it. Randall, thank you. Two dollars. Do voice exercises. Mmm. Hope you're not going to North Kansas City has the only World War One museum in the U.S. And I highly recommend it. Come brain Pippa. No, I'm saying, I'm saying like I would expect somebody else to come brain this. I just don't know. I just don't know what you would come brain it. This, this is, this is, this is fucking awful. This is fucking awful. Only die with them, friend lawyers. I've taken the habit of putting you on while I paint custodian minis for the emperor. Only in death to do the end. Ah. This looks awful. Awful, this looks great. You're insane. 
This looks fucking awful. It doesn't... Listen. Here's the problem. This would look cool... If there was more water around. But the problem... Is if you imagine you had Disneyland... <laughs> imagine you had fucking Disneyland and you put it in the middle of Detroit. And while you're riding... A fucking roller coaster at Disneyland or whatever the hell? You look out and you see Detroit. I mean, I guess Anaheim already is kind of a lot like Detroit, but I mean, like, like look at this. It does. It just doesn't aesthetically fit. Everything else looks highly generic. It looks very, very generic. There's a bunch of, like, trees. These trees aren't even, like, the same kind of tree as this tree. It just looks, like, generic. And then you have one cool theme park looking thing. The problem is, is the... The culture of the area around it is not developed. And so it looks... Like you downloaded a fucking house off of the Sims Marketplace and uploaded it. Just randomly. This looks like a fuck it. This looks like when you spend way too much time building on The Sims. And you look right next to your lot. And it's a generic fucking ranch style home. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms. World edit. Yeah, this is world edit. This is world edit. This looks terrible. This looks fucking terrible! See, like, right here. Right here. If you just look at this, it looks good, right? You're building, you're building, you're building, you're building. You go here, it looks fine. It looks good! Oops, you zoomed out too far. You zoomed out just a bit too far. And you see the edges of your lot. You can see the edge of this lot. Terrible. This looks terrible. <laughs> I do like the symmetry. This is very ple uh, appeasing. I fucking you'll go out of my thing, by the way. Me laughing at Pippa as I just scare on my bitch. <laughs> Fuck off. This is one thing I don't like about a lot of modern ac architecture. Red right remember thing, Fredlars. Pippa, you don't get the helicopter view in real life. No. But rich people do because they actually do have helicopters. But the fucking rich people do. I don't, but the fucking rich people do. The fucking rich people get a helicopter view whenever the fuck they want. So you know what? From the POV of like a rich person, this looks like dog shit. Not saying I'm rich, but like if I was rich and buying this, I'd be like, mm, no, this doesn't, this doesn't compliment. Um, the overall aesthetics are off from my helicopter. It does not look good. But I like the symmetry. I really like symmetry. This is, I, I, I was gonna say this and then I got distracted. But the problem with the problem with modern architecture, in my opinion, is they have they have two modes when it comes to symmetry. The, their first mode for symmetry is I'm gonna make a perfectly square box, and it's gonna look like a fucking commie block. Their other mode. Is we can't have literally anything be symmetrical. If anything is symmetrical, you know, that'll take away from our abstract art. God forbid anything look even a tiny bit symmetrical. That would be horrifying. Imagine people thinking that the, we were normal and we took the we took pleasure in symmetry. Something that people, fun, humans, fundamentally enjoy. Humans fundamentally enjoy symmetry. It's wired in our brains. And that's why rich people have to not like symmetry, because the poors like symmetry. The poors like symmetry! Stupid blooper thing, two dollars big idol Pippa. Thank you. Oh yeah. Fix that tree. God, if they would just fix that tree. Wait, what the fuck is this? Are these fucking drinking fountains? These look like fucking drinking fountains. What the hell are these? The fuck are those? That's so ugly.
Exactly! How do you get across the moat, though? Um... That's a really fucking good question. How much is this one? I have no idea. I think we just saw, wasn't it like 12 million dollars? Oh! I want to summon an Eldritch God! At this temple! I want to walk across the water wearing a long flowing white dress! Covered in the blood of the virgin I sacrificed! Walk up these <laughs> stairs! Drive a stake through my heart! And summon our Lord Cthulhu! That's beautiful. This is a Resident Evil level. Holy shit. God, that looks so fucking good. Chat, is that not just appealing to the fucking eyes? They're missing a shrub over here, though. They have a shrub over here and they don't have one over here. It kind of ruins it a little bit because you get too much white on this side. You get too much white on this side and there's the dark contrast. So it draws the eye way more over here. Whereas if you took one of these shrubs and you put it over here... It would continue to draw the eye... ...to the temple. Seem better in Minecraft. Fuck you, that's fucking Minecraft. This is the real world, Sonny. Oh, baby. Oh, man. I want my house to look like, an, like a Unity asset flip. Unironically, I want my house to look like a fucking... It's symmetrical, so the modeler didn't have to spend as much time modeling it. Unity fucking asset flip. Lots of open space. Unironically, yes! Yes, unironically! <laughs> I want lots of open space like this. High walls. In video game, in, in, in Unity asset flips, they do it to hide the shitty render distance and the, to not have to model the outside of the map. I want it for privacy. Oh, look at that. That's... that's during the final boss fight. Cthulhu... Cthulhu falls upon this. And dies. But then he reawakens and... and part two starts. Oh god, look at that. That looks so good. For Bulletator things and Lars Pippa, if we're going to talk about Dark Rituals, warn me first so I can clamp my nipples and wear my gold mask. What the fuck? I'm sorry, so you can what? So you... So, so you can what? Oh god, look at that. Oh. Look at the red chat. Red and green are complementary colors. Red and green are complementary colors. And it also adds to the magic of the dark magic. It also adds to the feeling that something is amiss and somebody is going to die. Burger tending, friend dollars. If you were given a chance to sell out, get a billion dollars and sacrifice to Moloch for a mansion like that, would you? I need to think about it. Ask me again in a little while. OP, thank you for $5. Symmetry is beginner aesthetics. Look at Tsukiya style mansions, Katsura, Imperial Villa for proof. Fuck you. Kasuo Mythos, thank you for 50, 50 knocks. No. No what? No what? God, look at that. Chat, you know somebody's getting murdered in this house. Oh, God. I would bring homeless people here. And then let them leave. I would not kill homeless people here. As long as management's watching this stream. Look at that, that's beautiful. That is beautiful, look at this. I love the little ornate details like this, chat. <laughs> I love, I love chandeliers. They're a nightmare to clean, though. That's why you gotta have a maid. If you want to have a chandelier, you have to have a maid. That's why I'll never have a chandelier, because I don't want people coming into my house. But they're so beautiful. Such beautiful dust collectors. Oh, I used to spend hours making them in Minecraft. 
Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. This person has definitely killed... At least six homeless people. This is fucking beautiful. They stood right up here. While a homeless man sat right here. And they shot him dead with a classic flintlock pistol. Oh. That's beautiful. Now this is a good fucking house, chat. You take the modern... Beautiful, clean, white walls. <laughs> Mixed... With, like, antique. Antique decor. Antique aesthetics. Beautiful. This is ugly. I take it all back. I I take literally everything I just said back. This is fucking hideous. This looks green. This looks fucking green. This is hideous. This is yeah ruined. They fucking ruined it in an instant. Holy shit! Also, my eyes burning. Even though I took Claritin. I took Claritin and I took Mucinex. Why is my eyeball burning, Chat? Green is red. No, Chat. The pillows. The pillows and the ottoman. This is terrible. This is terrible. Look at these marble-esque floors, chat. I bet you that's real marble. I bet you those are real marble tiles. Also, look at these curtains. They don't close all the way. Which looks nice, but in terms of practicality, that means you're never gonna be able to block all the sunlight out of the room. So if you wanna have a nice nap here... After a long night of gaming... You can't. Because there's light. Terrible design. Since I got a thing for dollars, would you rather a maid with a classy uniform or a fancy butler with a monocle? Oh, I do like monocles. I think monocles are unironically peak aesthetic and it kind of pains me that they're not more common in anime. Or manga. And whenever a character has a monocle, they turn out to be evil. And it's the most disappointing thing ever because I, I think monocles are peak design. Was that crazy? One dollar pip, sounds like you want a little bit of cheesecake. Right. Now, cheesecake factories are a bit more gaudy, right? This, the appeal of like this, right? If this was cheesecake factory, this would be like patterned wallpaper, and this would be like thick wood banisters, right? And these couches would be like ten times the fucking size, and there'd be a giant chandelier hanging from the middle. Yeah, it also it needs worse lighting, but that's where the giant chandelier comes in. But this, this is perfect. But this is bad. This is bad. Also, I hate that fucking chair in particular. I wouldn't... I... I... I will... I would do bad things to that chair. Okay, this is fucking with my brain. So we have a table here with a book on it, and then is this a couch? Or is this a bed? It has things on the side as though it is a bed, but the pillows are laid out in a way that it looks like it's a couch? I can't tell. It's a couch? A fainting couch. A day bed or a chase lounge? I don't know. I don't like it. I, I actually, I don't like it at all. Worst window ever? Also, yeah, that looks like shit. This room looks like shit. This room looks like I was trapped in a man's leather boot. This feels like a fucking leather boot with a hole in it. This is not peak aesthetic at all. Also, look at this shitty desk. You have, you have such a fucking, like, nice office desk, but then you use it for a computer desk, and it looks like shit like this. This is not where this belongs. This belongs in either, like, a fucking, like, a reading room, right? And you put books on it, and you sit there and you read there in a comfy chair, not a shit chair like this. Or you take a quill pen and you write nice things on it. You do writing on there. 
You do not, you do not disgrace this table with modern technology. I don't think they were $2 painting couch. I didn't know they could do that. I didn't either. That's, that's pretty crazy. Technology never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> yeah, this looks like shit. And that's the end. Okay, so let's... No. Outrageous Castle is its own artificial island with moat, a boathouse, and a six-car garage. Nobody has that many cars. Nobody has that many cars. Not the function. Not the function. If we're talking like having a car lot on your property, I know I know a lot of people that do that. I know a lot of people that have like their own little mini car lots in their front yard, but the, they do not run. And when you ask those people, hey, when are you gonna get rid of those cars? They tell you, I'm not gonna get rid of that. That's a classic. I'm not really a car person. I'm not really a car person, but I don't think something that was made in 2004. Can count as a classic. But anyways. They're gonna fix them, Jad. They're gonna fix them. It just needs a new engine. It just needs a new engine. And a new paint job. And new seats. Also, the fabric on the roof is peeling. It's coming down. There's pockets. There's pockets of air in the ceiling. But don't worry, they're gonna fix them. They're gonna fix them. Someday. Just need the goddamn time, they say, as they chug their fourth can of beer that day. Anyways. Chateau Artisan, also known as Redlands Island Castle or the $12 million Moat House, was built in 2007 as the personal family home of esteemed Miami architect Charles Sager. Since it was a family home, construction was labored and complicated because he wanted to spare no effort or money in turning it into just that. After five long years and unspecified amounts of money, Chateau Artisan was completed. What happens? What happens when one of your kids are playing dodgeball with their with their friend in the courtyard here? And the ball goes into the moat. Does it just belong to the alligators now, or what are you gonna do about that? Go in and get it! You get a new ball! You get a new ball, that's what I'm thinking. The servants go get it! <laughs> Swim! <laughs> rich people don't play dodgeball! Mm. You're rich, new ball! Oh. Okay. The peasant child retrieves the ball! That's why you- Oh, that makes sense! That's why the rich friend gets a poor friend. Oh, that makes sense. And then you make the poor friend go out and get it. Shit. Sager would only live inside it for a couple years. Oh my god. And the property has been on and off the market ever since! What a beautiful family home he constructed. I bet that's gonna get passed down generation to generation. Of TikTok influencer that buys it for the novelty and then can't afford it a half a year later. Anyways. With some luck in the current and still profitable real estate market, it might find a new owner looking for the OG Mega Mansion. Make no mistake about it, despite its faux European classic styling, the castle is just that, a Mega Mansion that aims to deliver all kinds of luxuries for the owner and their family. From cars to boats to R&R, &R, so that they may might not want to ever leave. Mm. Horrible. As far as an outrageous and outrageously specced properties go, this one is right up there at the top. It sits on a huge one piece of land with over 12,700 square feet. The living surface spreading across three levels. Several independent artificial islands, all of them surrounded by an artificial freshwater lake. Amenities include- Oh my god, there's a koi pond? Why do you need a koi pond when you can fucking have a koi ocean? You can have a koi ocean, you don't need a koi pond. A spa- A wellness center?! Oh my god. Oh my god. How much was this? Twelve million dollars. That could get you a four bedroom house in Los Angeles. Where's this at? I have no idea where this is at. It, Miami Architect, so is this in Florida? Is this somewhere in Florida? Comes free haunted. It's not old enough to be haunted yet. Florida. Okay, so I guess you couldn't have Koi out here. This is 
is gonna be a fucking <laughs> spawning ground for alligators. You're in fucking Florida. You don't even have to have the alligators imported. They're just gonna find their <laughs> way to you naturally. Tommy Salami, thank you for the Lord's catching up on the stream using 1.25 speed. And I'm imagining Ben Shapiro talking really fast about sacrificing Bridget to Cthulhu. What the fuck? Hey, D, thank you for the Lord's. The problem is a lot of rich people now are trust fund babies who have a... Uh, who at best have no taste or at worst believe whatever an expert tells them. I think I could have been a rich person growing up. Chat, because I remember when I was young and I played The Sims for the first time, I thought peak architectural design was making a giant box in The Sims that was corner to corner. Right? Corner to corner house on The Sims. And then, um... Copying and pasting the most expensive item from every category all over the house. Using the most expensive wallpaper. I think I could have... I think I could have rivaled... I think I could have rivaled a rich person in terms of taste. Oh, hell yeah! Cube maxing! Oh, hell yeah! Cube maxing. Done that before? Hell yeah. Always ran out of room ideas? Yeah, you end up with like... Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I, I had so many bedrooms. I had so many rooms that just had like a fucking pool table in them. This is the dance room. There's just five stereos. Five of the most extensive stereos. This is the VR room. There's a VR headset in here. Crazy to think about that the Sims back in the day had VR. And then, well, Cassie, I don't think it's 125 Mexicans. I worked in a house for a shoe tycoon of 10k. M2, and it was for his collection of 30 classic cars. There are people with so much money that they do not know what to spend it on. Are they considered VTubers? Have they considered watching VTubers? Chair Mansion, you want to live in Pippa? I... People were memeing on it, but I actually unironically really liked the... They were calling it the... 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 the base. Base. Bass Pro Shops. Mansion. Mr. I think I'm the big TV. Don't talk to me unless you're cute, Max! Tell ya. Hell yeah. Watching VTubers is for poor people like me. Mm. The base department? No, no, the, the Bass Pro Shops mansion. People on Twitter were, were calling it the, the fucking Bass Pro Shop mansion and memeing on it. And I actually really like that. Hold on, I'll show it to you. Bass Pro Shop mansion. I know if I, I know if I bring it up. It was this one. Stay strong, Liam Fondler. Dig in the stream. You may want to do an episode on 50s to 70s <laughs> interior designs. Jame Lulick's interior desecrations webpage is a good guide. Oh. <laughs> I might have to check that out. Background noising. Did you realize what about the boathouse you liked? Oh, I did really like the boathouse. That made me very happy. Chad, there was a... For those of you guys who are new here, we did another Zillow stream and there was a, there was a house and it was shaped like a boat and I really wanted it. I really wanted it. It was even on the water. It was even on the water. Look at this. You know what's hard? Dusting taxidermy. I don't know if you guys ever grew up with taxidermy in the house. But keeping taxidermy, especially like bird taxidermy clean, is a real pain in the ass. I have not. Uh, imagine having to dust rocks in your house. <laughs> they smell too? I didn't notice a smell. What's your ideal p house, Pippa? I already explained. It's the compound. You know what? Make the compound shaped like a boat. And that is my dream house. I want a compound shaped like a boat. You know what? You can make the privacy fence with a little barbed wire and stuff. And you can make the barbed wire sparkly. And you could paint the walls like it's the ocean. And then you put a nice little... Like a, like a little stocked pond. You put a little stocked pond on your property. You're basically at the ocean. That sounds awfully tacky. I don't care. It's my fucking house. It's not meant to... Listen! Listen! I don't care if it's tacky, bitch! It's my fucking house! You shouldn't even be looking at my house! It's my house! I said wonderfully. Okay, well... <laughs> well, nobody... It's nobody's business, right? It's nobody's business what your house looks like. 
So unironically, I do like this. But it needs some curtains. It's suffering from rich person big window problem. And I don't like that. I can always do a better add some gunboats to your dream house then. It's still tacky? Fuck you. This is beautiful. Does this not feel homely? This feels like... This feels like... Home scaled up. Right? This feels like... The best parts of youth. Embodied. And done in a very extravagant way. Look at this. Look at this. I feel like I'm walking into a hotel every time. That feels good, chat. I love walking into hotels. You know why? Because it feels like... Nothing I do matters. I love that. I loved going on vacation as a kid, chat. I loved going to hotels. And I don't have to make the bed. I don't have to do anything. I can leave crumbs around. I'm not vacuuming. This is amazing. You know what it's missing? You know what it's missing, chat? It's missing a little rack. Like, right back here. <laughs> Full of stuffed animals. And you can just pluck whatever stuffed animal you feel like carrying around that day. And you know what? You're fucking rich. So put another rack right here. And this is one of the little puppet animal racks. Those really expensive little puppets. Oh, yeah. Why some apples in the link, dealers? How do you clean taxidermied animals? Pip up very gently with a moist cloth. Key mom, thing, girl, 506, do not believe a word she says. All those mansions belong to her and you don't even see the basements there. Shh. Shh. That is super chat. Who the hell thing, dealers? I want to live on a decommissioned battleship. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Look at this. Fish! <laughs> Deer! Firestorm, thing, I'm gonna do why is the water yellow? It's just the lighting. Beep, 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 it's beep, just beep, the beep, lighting, beep, beep, beep. Sleepy. Also, yeah, battleship's too narrow. You can't do VR in there. You can't do body tracking in there. I think this is peak. Peace River, no! It's cozy! That's the bathroom? No, it's not. It's only the bathroom when you're actually out hunting. This is where I put my briar horses. Chad, do you guys know about briar horses? If I had this room, I'd fill it with briar horses. Is there anything if I'd always friendly admire that the inside of Bass Pro Shop Pyramid is a hotel that is literally this and it's awesome? You guys don't know about briar horses? Sometimes I guess I guess sometimes I I just need to really prove to you guys. That I am indeed female. I'm gonna show you guys briar horses. Briar horse ad. Let me show you an advertisement, and then I'm gonna show you the dream collection. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Hold on. There you go. Have a horse girl confirmed? No shit. I grew up with horses. Making the most authentic horses in the world. I can't afford these, so I have like three. And they're all from Grandma Kin. <laughs> I just bought an ornament recently. And I was like, yep. I'm living the dream. It's what makes us unique. They did such a good model. They've got his nose perfectly. It's 100%. They take real horses. Briar is the leader in equestrian knowledge. These and they make them horses. into little models. models. Is an incredible celebration of it's the like horse. warship models and tank models and plane models. But you don't build them. I love You horses. just collect them. I think briars are beautiful. Well, she's actually super gorgeous too. Like her coloring and shading are just amazing. Oh my gosh, seriously. He is stunning. Brace your they take horses. The they take horse horses and they make them into models. Amazing. Horse figurines, yeah. Of horse gun across the world. Without building, though. Without building. What people do instead is they mix and match tack. 
away from Germany. It's for people who really love model horses, love horses, and love the whole horse life. There's famous horse horses life. from all over gang, the world. Gang, gang. It's the best three days of the entire year. It's my favorite. It's better than... They have a Briar Horse Convention in Kentucky! We love Briar. He's adorable. Oh my Chad, gosh, I'm about to blow your so fucking excited. mind. He is gorgeous. I love <laughs> him. I'm gonna blow your fucking mind. You guys know Cookie Swirl C? She blew up in the VTuber scene because she got a model. Uh, uh, her model is a sister of Lanny from. Yeah, the biggest VTuber ever. The meme is that she's the biggest VTuber ever because she got a VTuber model. Right? But she was already like a huge kid's channel. <laughs> I was subscribed to her before she became a VTuber. And I enjoyed her content. Because I'm gonna show you something that's gonna blow your fucking minds. I'm gonna- I'm gonna show you her model just to provide context to the people who aren't so fucking... ...deep into VTubers that they're like, Oh my god, could as well VTuber. I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm gonna fucking... Right, so this chick is absolutely massive. Way bigger than Gura. Way bigger than Gura, even. Right? 18 motherfucking million subscribers! A place to be happy and have fun. I started my channel in 2013. For the longest time, my channel didn't have a face. And I was a fan of her. Before she became a VTuber. And not for her fucking kids dress up content and shit, okay? Because when you go to her channel, the bulk of it her... time. The bulk Rainbow. of her content, right, is like these kids games and shit, right? But I'm, out, I'm about to blow your fucking mind. I'm about to blow your fucking mind. She has another channel. How do I find it? It is time for Rainbow Friends. She has another oh, yes, channel, but Jack. it's gonna be even more special because oh, it's I'm not up here anymore. Hold on. It's not up here anymore. But yeah, she has another channel. And it's all horse girl content. Give me a second. I'm gonna show you her Briar Horse collection. I'm gonna show you her motherfucking. Okay, she changed the name from Honey Swirl C to just Honey. I'm gonna make you listen to this annoying as hell intro. Hold on. Give me a second. Honey Heart C. Hello there, me. I have autism. Many fans and happy New Year's Eve! Today I thought it would be so appropriate to do my Briar 2018 collection haul. So this is how I'm ending 2018 with all of my models. So let's go ahead and take a little tour around my collection. So as you can see how I have my Briar set up, I actually have them sorted out by color, which you can really see on how I kind of did my I love so a bit in rainbow order. So we'll start things off here. These things are like $30 a piece! They're like $30 a piece! Here with the whites. So these are like the whites and the whites. So I just kind of have them all by color, and I like just kind of having them by color. It's just kind of easier for me to see, like, okay, I've got this many whites. Want this one right here is one of my favorites. I, I love. love Ferrano, she is very, very special. I love her, and look at those little dapples ah! on her body, too. Isn't she so cute? She so is! She is here. cute! Got cute little icicle. He's also another one of my little favorite ones. He's really, really cute. I love him. She has so many this of these the autograph horse. This is what I want. I want a whole shelf of Palominos. I like the Palominos. I especially like it when they have a blaze. When they have a blaze! When they have a white blaze on their face! I love them! Briar Fest, another one. That's a high nine dollars. Real sus how she segregates them by color shop. That I really like. We've got Briar Fest on his butt there. Pepper's name, they were doing lots of Fibboy, Funko, Fibboy, Funko, Fibboy, Funko, Fibboy. We've got Spirit. Now we're kind of going into some days. Fibboy, 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 Cute little foal right here. Kind of got separated from his mom because his mom is actually a gray color horse. They all look the same. No, they don't. They literally don't. This one has a star on its head. And it has white gradient. Almost socks, but not quite. This one does have socks. This one's a Clydesdale. This one looks like it could be something like an English thoroughbred, maybe. It also has a blaze. This one does not have the blaze. It only has a star. This one has a full blaze going all the way down to its mouth and the white socks. This one has a chestnut coat. This one's more of a brown. This one has white mane. Has a little star again, just like this tiny one. 
This one's a bit more of a thinner breed. This one's bulkier. This one looks like it could be probably like a workhorse of some type. I don't know. It could just be the camera angle. Whereas this one looks like it could be a horse. It's crazy. Him right up here with the rest of them. I'm gonna guess. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me take a closer look at them. This is obviously some sort of bulkier breed, but it does not have the fetlocks. Like this one. This one could possibly be something like a Clagsill or a Shire. I don't know. I'm not that knowledgeable. I'm not that knowledgeable. But I definitely think this is either a Clagsill or a Shire. This one, I'm trying to think of what it could possibly be. Again, it's some sort of draft horse. You can tell because it's much bulkier. It's much wider. Fatlocks? Fatlocks! I'm trying to think. That little guy, I think $5 money for horse month. Or it could be an Irish cop. There's so many, there's so many different things that it could be. Becker noising with $35. Here you go, get yourself a toy horse pet. I have the tiny ones. I, I, I buy it. Chat. Oh, God. My eyes hurt. <laughs> Chat, they sell something called mini winnies. <laughs> they sell something called mini winnies. And they're by Briar Horses and I buy them. They're little horse gotchas. And I buy them. But I don't buy the unicorn ones. I don't want unicorns. I want real horses. Anyways, I think this one's probably an English thoroughbred. I'm not exactly sure what this one could be. I'm not that familiar with the draft breeds. I prefer uh, more like American breeds. First of all, I prefer more like American breeds. And I prefer horses that are more like uh, more like race horses and stuff. I'm really into barrel racing. Not that I do barrel racing, but I really like barrel racing. My favorite barrel racer, in case you're curious, you're probably not. But my favorite barrel racer of all time is Fallon Taylor. So we got the two jumpers. I got the sleepy thing, which is I have many winnies in the mom of the day. Hell yeah! The two variations, one with the longer mane and one with the braided mane. <gasps> oh. See, that's, there's more differences, chat. There's more differences, like the different manes and stuff. They're all unique molds. The, like, 90% the of these are like unique so molds, we'll chat. Ah, oh, look at it! <gasps> look at this one. This one. I bet you this one's an Arabian. Chat, look at the build on this one. Look at it. Look at its tall, elegant stature. I think this one's an Arabian. Line up, but that's okay. She can hang out right here. And now we're going into... Oh, God. That one's a Frisian. To the black horses. Gotta be. These ones have to be Frisians. And Chad, we... did you guys know black, uh, 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 fucking Black Beauty was a Frisian? Make our way out of the black horse. Donkey! Horses. Now we've got my animals, like my donkey and my cows. <laughs> Ending with the golden cow. I want the cows, too. They have donkeys. <laughs> they have donkeys. They have a dressage mule. I want the dressage mule. Cow and calf. Okay, so that is all of my <gasps> regular, like, normal... Look at them. They're beautiful. This one, I think, is, uh, spirit. <laughs> Since I've got Lingerton, the there's one on the left. That's a horse. Middle one. Horse. Second <laughs> on the right. What you know? It's a horse. Third shelf. Pegasus. That ain't no horse. So not using your two dollars, Pippa. Have you been watching the Breeders' Cup? No. I see play losing your two twenty three. Pippa, the proper plural of horse is heese. Sometimes I like to watch horse auctions on YouTube and pretend that I'm actually gonna buy one, but I never will. How to glory losing five dollars? I now feel justified. My Genshin Impact addiction. This is weird, rabbit. Coat pattern horses. <gasps> now we're gonna check out my decorated. Oh God, look at these. Oh God. A lot of these are like the more limited Here's edition ones I and everything. I absolutely love. So we're going to be starting off. Oh, God, look at them. Look at that one. That one's beautiful. Off with the golden Vallegro and then the bronze Bandera. So gold, oh, bronze, silver, and then more decorators that had like a really cool coat. Oh, look at that one. Oh, pattern. my God. We got my slime horse in the corner. Now we've got the. I saw one at the local toy shop chat. I saw one. I saw one at the local toy shop. It was the limited edition 2022. Winter. Uh, the, the, the winter season horse. And I settled for an ornament. Florentines, all of these. I think it was like $60.
Florentine horses. We got silver. Look at Hades and Fredlars. Extreme Tism. Love you, gold. Pip. Gold. Look at I don't really like these as much. I don't really like the speckled lineup. ones. Except for this one. But I like that one. This one is not Florentine. He's just really cool. This is Atlas. He actually has a... He's like a he's like a paint horse, but with the with the with with uh like special special paint. of the world special on gold. him though. I just kind of keep beautiful. One call thing to Lars. This is how normies view anime figures. Keep him with everybody. He likes hanging out with the gold. sixty dollars is too damn much for a horse toy. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's why if I was rich, I'd buy these. And horses. If I was so rich, I didn't know what to do with my fucking money. I'd be buying these things, chat. And he's wedged in between the green Florentine. Just dunking oh. all three of these in bleach and it just removed their paint color from them so you guys can see what it looks like when you remove all of the paint from them so I actually made those ones I couldn't get the eye color off of this one though for some weird but this really pretty one who's got a little rainbow look at that oh, daydreamer look how cute Jay the Shade Thinger did our spirit styling in the cinema the cinema Cimarron watch along win we could cool and darting did you like my little pony my little pony are you a brony no. No. Oh, no. Beautiful, beautiful, translucent no. head and rainbow. She ruined them? Yeah. Body. I need to make this one into a completely transparent one, too. I love them. I love them. So, really nice line. See, I'm not a fan of, like, this aesthetic. See, this makes me think of, like, the Schleich, um, minifigures and stuff, which are nice figures. And I do have some, right? I do have, I have, like, the harp seal. Um, I have, um. Oh, God. I don't even remember. I have a lion. I have I have the white lioness, and then I have the white lioness with her cub, and then I have the white lion cub schlike figures. But for like the horses and stuff, I don't know. It just feels cheaper. I don't like Light that. Of them. Got them I don't all like together. That as much. Peggy, I haven't released them yet. Those famous ones that are in France. Look at that. Just so This is um this is this is the only the only the only truly wild horse left, chat cool right on this really cool wild horse this is definitely one of my this like species favorite so that one goes here coming on down and then a the Z Z Z zawalski's how Another do we pronounce one of it my favorite friars is this one right here beautiful make-a-wish with her goldeny coat color so which i need to buy another color i want color. them chat. another one i Tour. want them i will do you don't know how fucking bad i want these things chat There's an argument they're actually feral and not wild. Yeah. Aren't some of these toys made with porcelain? Maybe. Maybe. Also, I play this game. Hey, you guys! Welcome back to Star Stable and... I just logged in yesterday. I just... Yay! Hi! I just logged in yesterday and I bought, I bought two horses on this game. I haven't been spending money. I'm being good. I don't buy star coins unless it's a double star coin weekend. And I haven't bought star coins in like a year. I haven't bought star coins in a year. I'm waiting for for double star coins. If I do, why are you me? <laughs> <laughs> but I had star coins saved up, and I bought Song Sorrow, and I bought the um I forget the name of it. I forget the name of it. He's the release from last year, I think. He's the he he's he's the he he's the um English quarter horse. With the skeleton. To my imagination, we are going to be doing a role play today. I am racing on over to check out one of the God. newest Appaloosas, and we say that I'm allowed to train her. He just said I'm allowed. So this is go. a different Speed game. This is the app. Race. It sucks. Hold saddle, saddle bag. And there let's it is. Take this cute this little game. kitty out today. You can have a little you pet. Come along with us Character for a models ride? are terrible. Aww. Okay, great. Put East roll. See. <laughs> in the saddle bag. There we go. All right. So you we can put them in the saddle bag. And take them out! Not all of them! Are ready to ride! All my horses have different tack. Alright, let's warm him up nice and easy. Do a couple really small little jumps. I do this. I do my races in Moreland to level up my horses. There we go. Just play Red Dead Redemption 2 instead. But what if my horse dies? I might have to kill myself. He is such a pleasure to in ride. In Star Stable Online, my horses won't jumps. die. There we go. Maybe we can go try some barrel racing with him. Oh, another Appaloosa's already coming in. Oh, they've... That was an unrealistic jump. Yeah, there's like some really dedicated horse people on Star Stable Online. And every time they release a new horse... 
Holy shit, every time they release a new horse, they're like, mm, I don't think the gait is that realistic. I think I think they need to lower the trajectory angle of the knee incline by 25 degrees because just right now it's completely unimmersive and it takes me out of it. And I'm sitting here like it's a fucking horse. Chat, if you think I'm bad, if you think I'm bad, chat. There are people, there are people out here that are losing their mind. Because their little horse game isn't that accurate. It's a cartoon horse game. This isn't even one of the realistic oh, horse right games. There. I just really adds to role plays, just makes it a lot oh, more fun. Oh, and did we see braided? Completely braided? You can There's... change your horse's mane. You're pretty bad to the... I'm not. I'm not. I'm only losing my mind because it won't bring back snow? Bring back snow. What is snow? Equalizer Jet, thank you $2. Have you ever heard about Canadian Gatoma horses? I have not. I have not. But, Yuri, while you're here, uh, they found a leak. <laughs> not a leak, really, but, um, uh, they accidentally included it in the data of one of the latest, um, uh, halters. Hal halter ha harnesses. Um, they're coming out with the Tennessee walking horse. And there's drama over that. There's drama in the Star Stable Online community because the Tennessee... Oh, there used to be snow every winter and now there's no snow. I never even noticed that. What the hell? I never even noticed. Why drama? Because the Tennessee walking horse... Um... Tennessee walking horse. So they have this thing. They have this thing. Um... Uh, <laughs> Where a lot of the people who get Tennessee walking horses enter them in shows. And Tennessee walking horses are famous for a very specific move called, like, the Big Lick. If I remember correctly. And it's, it's what they do here. It's what, what you're seeing here in this. When they lift their leg up really high. This week. And historically... Horses. Historically... Tennessee walking horses are really beloved by trail riders because the way that they walk is abnormal. Lift, not lick, no, it is called like big lick. Um, the way Tennessee walking horses walk is very smooth. Yeah, yeah, very smooth. Um, and because the way that they walk is abnormal, right? There's like all these competitions and stuff based around them. So, in order to make the horses do the, um, do the thing. Am I going to do in this video? To make them do, like, the very dramatic, like, high step thing, basically. Um, what some people do out there. Is they, uh, God, I wish I could just find nice fucking footage of it. But basically what they do is they have like, they have like the shoes for the horses, right? Well, imagine instead of like the horseshoe being a tiny little ring at the bottom, they have like these giant shoes that go all the way around the hooves and they put a bunch of nails inside there. So every time the horse, this, so every time the horse like steps down, they have nails digging into the bottom of their feet. And horse feet are very sensitive. I can't... I, I can't find any... Any footage of them doing the... Hold on. Big lick. Um... Here we go. That sucks for the horse? Yeah, it does suck for the horse. So there's a lot of controversy in the Star Stable Online community right now. People are like, you better not put that shit in. You better, you better not fucking put that shit in. You better not put that... See, that's what they do, right? They walk really... They, they, they can do like this really dramatic gait. And people like that. And it becomes a competition. Because there's a lot of competitions around horses in general. And it doesn't necessarily have to be achieved by abuse. 
but the reality of the situation is that the a lot of people achieve it through abuse. They're happening, Rundlers! You should watch some shooting videos. Oh, those are so satisfying. Happening, Rundlers! Hi, people! What's your breakfast food? Favorite breakfast food? I like pancakes. Ooh, I like French toast. Equalizer Jetting and Jewelers get home and nuts! Oh, fuck off! Timo Tailing and Jewelers, they turn in the glue when they lose! Not, not always. Not always. <laughs> there's some, there's some exaggeration about like the cruelty and stuff with like racehorses, especially nowadays, but at the same time, it definitely also does still happen in some places, in some cases, so it's... Yeah, horses have a lot of controversy around them. Anyways, let's go back to looking at houses. This is where I put my rider horse collection. <laughs> you know what a brumpy is? Yeah, that's a that's a wild horse in Australia. So, I remember watching. There was a show called The Silver Brumby or something like that. And I remember watching it. What a tangent! Yeah. This is where I put my rider horses. Look at this! Look at this! This is where I'd go fishing. Infernal Saxon and Dylan, do you like motorcycles? I think motorcycles are really cool. I think motorcycles are really cool. Didn't know Pippa knew so much about horses. I have a lot of knowledge <laughs> on a lot of random shit. Nice spot to fish. Mm. Speaking of which, fish is another topic that I have... ...a bit of a wealth of knowledge on. Again, I'm not like... I'm not like so diehard. I know everything. Right? Like, I can't identify every single pattern of koi, right? And I can't identify every type of koi. But I do know a lot about koi and goldfish. Happy thing with my daughter, the horses are majestic beings. Nobody can change my mind. They're very loyal and like to cuddle as far as horse houses go. I'd like tiny houses. I think tiny houses are really cool. They just don't suit my lifestyle. Tiny, tiny houses do not suit my lifestyle. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Oh, I want that! Oh, I want that. Pippa has approximate knowledge of many things. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I want this house. Sleepy Project Angelos. Reborn baby doll deep dive win. Never. I fucking hate those things. I hate baby reborn dolls. They are awful. Baby reborn dolls are fucking cursed. Holy shit. If you don't know what baby reborn dolls are... Imagine people walking around with look with what looks like the corpse of a child, but actually... Don't worry, it's made of silicone. Happy thing to our little Pippa needs a big house! I do, I do. I need a room. I need a room, I have pets, I have, I have streaming equipment. Yeah, highly realistic babies, it's awful. This is one million dollars. This one's subtle and a little further on in the images. According to Noble Cat. Hey, Sky, you think five dollars. Rich people need to KTSO when it comes to mounting race cars at stupid angles. Also, who collects that many helmets? I don't know. Do you think those are like actual helmets that were used in races or? Is that a cult compound? I don't know. This kind of fence is stupid. It doesn't actually do anything. This kind of fence is stupid. Also, there's a crease in your yard. Your perfect little fucking faux grass astroturfing bullshit has a crease in it, dipshit. Hi, Pippa. Hi, Lone Wanderer. This looks awful. This looks fucking awful. This is a million dollars? Yo, dude! This is a gamer house, dude! Holy shit! This is a... Kitchen! Oh my god! RGB lights in the kitchen! Fuck yeah! The grind set never stops, baby! This is just mid. This is just mid. I don't really like this. I really like the aesthetics of wood, chat. I really like wood. I think, I think like... Getting to see, like, the nice grain and everything is nice. I don't like... This is all, like, painted white. You have plain white tiles. 
This probably isn't even real wood. This is also probably... T yeah, this is probably linoleum floors. The other house belongs to a race car driver, yeah. The other house we looked at, the Bass Pro Shops looking one. Belonged to a race car driver. S car. This is terrible. I hate this aesthetic for furniture. I feel like I can just knock it over. I associate this fucking furniture style with like... Very cheap furniture. Like the very, very cheap furniture that's meant to emulate like the nice furniture. But because it's made out of such cheap materials, you can just knock it over with a gentle breeze. Ikea. Mm. I've never even been to Ikea. This looks hideous. Chat, this looks like they took a fucking... The aesthetics of a double wide. This is the aesthetics of a double wide on a fucking million dollar house. That's terrible. It's terrible, chat. These are party houses not meant to raise a family. Oh yeah, okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. Jesus. See, and why don't you make use of the entire fucking space? Why do you have like these tiny racks? That's so annoying. That's so fucking annoying! You have all this space in here! And you choose these tiny racks! Oh my god. Stupid ugly thing, Red Lord. Pip, I would like to exchange this five bucks for a happy birthday from <gasps> Happy birthday, stupid ugly! <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, stupid ugly! Happy birthday, stupid ugly! Happy birthday to you! Oh wait, it was somebody else's birthday today, wasn't it? Chat, somebody yesterday said that it was their birthday tomorrow. You guys remember who it was? Oh god, I feel bad. Madison Melancholy! Oh wait, no, was no, that wasn't you. No, who was it? Who was it? Fuck. Do you guys remember? I thought it was you for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. I just, your 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 brain <laughs> triggered the neurons. Um, and and then not all flower. Thank you for coming out. But but hey, thank you for coming. I don't remember who it was, and now I feel bad. And now I feel bad, Chad. Was it Kalori Faye? Was that me? Who was it? I sent the super chat. Don't worry about it. But now I'm gonna worry about it. Now I'm gonna be thinking about it non-stop. <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about it non-stop. It was Kalar! It was Kalar! Oh, wait, now people are saying Vencer? Wait, no, no, no. It's just one person spamming Vencer. Okay, I'm gonna... Happy birthday, Kalar Happy birthday, Kalar Happy birthday, it better be your birthday. Happy birthday, Kalara Faye! If it is your birthday, and if it's not, fuck you, I was lied to. Ta cha cha! Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> this house looks like shit. This house is fucking awful. Also, I hate these little sliding door things. I hate these fucking slide these doors that are like hanging off these hinges. So stupid. So stupid. Chat, what if somebody's in your house trying to fucking attack you and this is what you have to hide in? Somebody gets into your house and you're like, oh shit, I need to hide in the bathroom. Let me just slide this creaky son of a bitch over. Nah. Nah. A slight bump and it starts going. That's annoying. That's annoying as hell. A slight bump. This looks unpleasant. This looks incredibly unpleasant. This whole house sucks. This whole house sucks, chat. Jesus. Giant tower. Giant walk-in shower. Bathroom floor is an accident happen waiting to happen. 
I can't tell what this is. Is this carpet, Chip? Is this carpet or is this tile? I can't tell. Giant showers are keen on them. Mm. You know what I like? I like showers that have a place where you can sit because I'm fucking lazy and I hate standing in the shower. Do you know how long it takes to wash my fucking hair? Do you know how long my fucking arms get tired washing my goddamn hair? I hate it. I want to just sit down. I want to just fucking sit down. I don't want to deal with that shit. The same depression thing to noise. When I worked at Lowe's, I was surprised at how many people wanted those barnyard doors. Insane people. Get a bath stool. <laughs> I don't know. My family had a bath stool once, and they get like this weird undercoat of grime. Bath stools get this like weird greenish brownish grime beneath the top. You know what I'm talking about? Use the stool like anime girls. Clean it. It's too much work. That's called mold. Laura Fanning and Dolores, thank you so much for my my breakdown is not complete. <gasps> Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Happy birthday! Record noising, do the always pip up, pip up, down your hair. Oh my god. Baths are scary, one misstep in your game. Oh my god. I was careless going to go take a shower once in my life. I remember one time. Oh god. I remember one time I went to go take a shower. And it was in my, my... At this house. At this house. My parents' bedroom was a garage. And there was like this tiny little bathroom. <laughs> right off of it. Very thing with $3. And so I went to go use their... Their shower. I think because my sister was in the other bathroom. The one that I would normally use. But I went to go use that one. And there was like this little step. There's like this little tiny step. And I miscalculated horribly. And I tripped. And I tugged on the I tugged on the bath curtain thing. And it pulled the goddamn bath rod right down on my fucking head and I just kind of laid there for what felt like an hour. Just trying to like process what the hell happened. Because when you fall in the bathroom, not only is everything sharp and there's like a million edges, but then when you get hit in the head with the fucking bath rod, it's like, God. I just don't want to be alive. No, but Cat, thank you. Dolores Pippa left the corner behind the couch. Happy birthday. A left corner behind the couch? Now find the couch. This couch? Mudroom. It's not a mudroom if you don't have a fucking hose in here. If you don't have a hose and shit in here to actually wash off, it's not a fucking mudroom. You saw it? I didn't see it. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Go back? What the hell is a mudroom? So a mudroom is this thing that's been kind of co-opted. WHAT THE FUCK?! WHAT?! WHAT?! THERE'S A FUCKING TOILET IN HERE! <gasps> THERE'S A FUCKING TOILET IN THE BATHROOM SINK! Right here, you remove the couch. You remove the couch, you put a desk right here, and it's a real game in hours now. Holy shit. I would think that it was just like a silly little prop or something, but they have the bathroom sink right here too. If it was just a toilet, I'd be like, oh, well, you know, maybe somebody just put it there to be funny for the photos, or it's just like a silly little, oh, I'm so quirky prop. But there's a fucking bathroom sink right beside it! 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Where's the toilet paper? I don't know. Is that toilet paper? Is that toilet paper stacked right there? Or those candles? Maybe the toilet paper's in the cabinet right here? Or it's on the side? Any more photos? No, you can't take one fucking photo of that goddamn room and not answer them in any of my fucking questions. No, buddy. Is this a different bathroom? Yeah, it is. Okay, the tile's different. I was like, are there two bathrooms on either side of the sink? Or two two toilets? No, okay, that's part of this room. I need more context. I need more context. Why well, sold for nine hundred thousand dollars? Please explain the bathroom. Five bedrooms, four bathrooms. Five bedrooms, four bathrooms. Let's sort this out. This is the living room. Okay. 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 Bedroom number one. Bedroom number two. This is a different bedroom. I think this is bedroom number three. Oh no. Oh no. This is bedroom number four, chat. That was a closet? Do you think so? Do you think that was a closet? I can't tell. I can't tell if that's a closet or a bedroom. There's not really like enough here for it to be like a closet. That's a closet? Oh no. Oh no, Are, is this two different rooms? I think this might be two different rooms, chat. I think... And there's no... There's no bed in here, chat. I think this is the... How many bathrooms? Four bathrooms. Five bedrooms. Hold on. We're gonna... We're gonna sort this by bathroom, chat. We're gonna sort this by bathroom. Okay, there's the there's the marble bathroom. There's the tile bathroom. That's two bathrooms. This is the marble one again. They're not all pictured. There's not enough pictures. Check out the floor plan. I don't I don't think there is one. They don't have one. That's clearly the common room, Pippa. No. No. Other features include guest house, office, game room. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Walk-in wine cellar. Oh, come on. Hardly. Hardly. That's not a fucking wine cellar, dipshit. This is, this is, this is not a fucking wine cellar. This is a wine closet. This is a fucking wine closet! Get off your goddamn high horse! This is not a wine cellar! Shut the fuck up! Mudroom. Second master. Spacious laundry with a large sink. Iron door. Lots of closet space and master. Okay, yeah, I think that was a closet. Smart technology throughout the house. Built-in cameras. Oh, they don't talk about the... They don't talk about the living room toilet. Yeah, they don't mention the living room toilet. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I was gonna explain what a mudroom is. Okay, so a mudroom in actuality is a room that you walk into usually at the back of the house. So after you do shit outside, 
Right? Like, in the mud after you're done, like, taking care of horses. After you're done tending to your fucking crops. When you come back inside, you take your boots off. And you wash them down with, like, a... With, like, a... With, like, a hose. Or, like, a shower head. Whatever. Right? But here, it's just a... It's just a place to put your shoes, I guess. Here, I guess it's just... There's no... There's no holes here or anything. Nowadays, mudrooms are just fancy way of saying entryways. Mm. Recognizing Jadoy's communal bathroom time is so <laughs> in this year, Pippa! No. No, it's not. No, it's not. I don't... I, I, this is not as bad as the bitchin'. This is not as bad as the bitchin'. The bathroom kitchen. But this is still pretty fucking bad. Oddball the right to sing it all. All it's missing is a puke door. Oh, shut up. Stop right snake thing for $2. Call seller and ask what the fuck. Do some other your $10. It's for working... Work pooping while you... Wh what? From the living... What? Care not thing for $1. You should look up the Tim Allen Home Improvement episodes where they make the man's bathroom and man's kitchen. You'll love them. I used to watch Home Improvement every night. I used to watch Home Improvement every night. And then we lost cable television. Home Improvement was dope. I loved. I loved the neighbor. Wilson Wilson. That was his name, right? Wilson Wilson? What's your name? Wilson. What's your first name? Wilson. What's your last name? Wilson. Your name's Wilson Wilson? Yep. And he never shows beneath. His chin, or beneath his nose. He's always peeking out. Yeah, hidden face dude. Yeah, he's always peeking out from the other side of the fence. Wilson was a spy. I loved him. He was the best character. It's the same depression thing. Ten dollars when I worked at Lowe's, I was surprised at how many people wanted the... Oh, I already read that. Did I catch up? I remember thing. Ten dollars the one time you took a shower in your life. Shut up. Um, and I'm like, oh, well, not everything you're at $10. Have you seen the claymation videos of you? They're hilarious. I saw moonshine animations videos, and they're fucking hilarious. Oh, there you go, St. Boys. Can you really say you're the king of the castle if you can't poop in the living room? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Super ugly thing, the noise. I feel guilty. My birthday isn't until next Friday, but I wasn't sure I'd catch another stream. Here's 10 bucks for my filthy deceit. You lied to me! You DECEIVED ME! Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Background noise saying to you can have a casual conversation while going SHUT UP! Oh my god. This is horrible. This is just unapologetically fucking horrible. Jesus Christ. Okay, what's this one? Is this a fucking fairy cottage? What the hell is this? Ashland? Ashland, Oregon? Oh, come on. This is the one nice house in Ashland. This is the one single nice... Oh my fucking god, it's a fairy cottage. Holy shit, look at this fucking thing. Oh my god. This is so unapologetically whimsical. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, wait, hold on. What is... Oh, they're just squares. I thought they were like paw prints or something. I was gonna be like, oh my god. I got noise in your two dollars. The future is now. What about the future is now? It's beautiful. Oregon is so fucking beautiful. 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 Chat. You know what? You know what Oregon's nickname is? God's country. Everything then come and be me. Yo, where's the demon summoning room? Knife here, always have one. Oh my god. True. Beautiful. Shut up! Shut up! The meth state? Yeah. Mint blogger, thank you for $2. Reaction video to the claymation videos? What? Reaction videos? Are there actual claymation videos? Or are you talking about moonshine animations? Ashland is bougie now? Are you serious? Toyota Corolla, I think, Fred Lars. I live in a nice 1930s craftsman house neighborhood. The 
Neighbor built a disgusting McMansion next to me. It looks like a damn shoebox. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you for ten dollars. Thank you for the stream, Pippa. As always, well, thank you. Whoopee! I like this. I like this. It would take a lot for me to move back to the West Coast, though. It would take so fucking much for me to move back to the West Coast. I am fucking right at home in the East Coast, chat. I am so right at home in the East Coast. I don't know if I ever want to go back. Like, unironically, I feel like I, I, just, I just belong here. I just belong here. The only other thing I'm considering is Texas. But I really like the East Coast. Down South, not, not North. Thank you, thank you! East Coast, best coast. East Coast, best coast. East Coast is best coast. Golden thing, five dollars, filthy elves, and their stupid demon summoning rituals. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> I really like this one. I'm a woman, Chad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm a fucking woman, okay? This appeals... ...to my whimsical, Disney-loving... ...horse girl-ass motherfucking aesthetics. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Bring in the Rainforest Cafe right to home. Oh, okay. Wait, is it... Is there glass here? Yeah, I think this is a reflection. I think this is... Okay, so there is glass here. I was like, what the fuck is this? Oh my god. Oh, there's glass all along here too. What do you do when... What do you do when you break one of these? What happens... What happens when you break one of these? When you're carrying a fucking table upstairs and the table jams into the side to break cry? Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, you just cry. <laughs> ah. 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 I'd cut out a piece of plastic. I'd buy my I'd buy myself a briar horse and I'd cut the plastic off the front. And I'd just like super glue that bitch in there. <laughs> No one will ever have to know. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so stupid. I love it. Oh, put some dinosaurs in here. Get rid of the fucking bird and put a velociraptor statue in here. I know exactly which one I would buy, chat. I know exactly. Chat, I've been scooping out the velociraptor statues. I know exactly which one I would buy. Give me a second. I'm gonna show you what velociraptor statue I'd put out here. It's on Amazon. It's on Amazon. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me one second, chat. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's... It matches the fucking floor, chat. <laughs> it matches the floor! Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, oh my God. I need $2,964. Plus five million eight hundred ninety-five thousand dollars. It's a perfect fit. Unironically, it's a perfect fit. It matches the fucking floor. Oh my god. It's a Utah Raptor? It's not a Utah Raptor. Do you want me to tell you why it's not a Utah Raptor? Because no Raptor actually had their wrist bent at this angle. If, a <laughs> if any Raptor... If any Raptor bent their wrist at this angle, they would break. Raptors actually held their hands... Uh... Palms facing. Palms facing, knuckles out. Velociraptors did not walk around... Like Frankenstein. Like this. 
this is this is this is pretty much a velociraptor from Jurassic Park. Okay. <laughs> Where are the feathers? Again, it's not it's not historically accurate or whatever the fuck. Okay. Terrible thing in front of velociraptor. <laughs> it does look cooler like this. It does look cooler like this. I want this statue. I want this house. Oh God. It was meant to be, chat! Background noise hanging to dollars. Tip of the dino expert. I'm not, I'm not. My little CD thing with five dollars. I told all VTubers were men with voice changes and I find out you're a woman. I'm disappointed to say the least. I'm so sorry, Anna. Uh, I call you Anna. Wait, hold on. Wait, what super chat was that? Oh, Mount Lucy! I'm so sorry, Mount Lucy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I instinctively called you. <laughs> Cold ending with five dollars. Oh, I read that. Okay, hold on. Practitioner of Diogenes, thank you for coming up with me. Bit of a break. Nezra, thank you for the 72 cents! Red room over thing, five dollars. It's a very woman child house. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Reverse talk. This is all, all theropods were portrayed, but yes, all theropods, especially predatory ones like T-Rex or Velociraptor, had palms facing knuckles. Out hand posture. Hell yeah. Sound thing to Lars Pippa. No. It was a slip up. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, I feel like back towards here. Oh god, chat. Maybe right back here, chat. I'm thinking I'd put it right back here and it'd be facing out towards the window. And if anybody ever dares to think about robbing me, they're gonna look into the window, see this fucking thing, and hightail that shit. Hightail it the fuck out of there. Oh, they're gonna <laughs> hightail it the fuck out of there. They're gonna see my attack velociraptor. Oh my god. Anonymous! And you wonder, is a Utah raptor with bad computer desk posture. Yeah, true. True. Why not go thing, Dillers? Don't feel bad. I once called a co worker! <laughs> <laughs> Recovering from that one. Toyota Corolla thing you're into dollars. Who massacred the Amazon for this travesty? Fuck you. This looks nice. Danny D thing into dollars. How loud will Fishman scream over the bill? <laughs> I don't think Fishman would fund this mansion. Uh, one time during a company meeting, um, somebody said they didn't know who Keys in the Eye was. And I was like, you don't know who Keys in the Hentai was? Because there's a- there's somebody in chat! There's somebody in chat! His name is Keys the Hentai, and it always makes me chuckle a little bit mentally. And I have their name engraved in my brain! <sighs> so during the meeting, I was like, you don't know who Keys the Hentai was? <laughs> oh. So anyways... Rent free. Run for you. Okay, I'm gonna put. Oh my god. Chat, all I'm saying. Chat, I don't want. I don't want this. I don't want this little bit here to get old or anything, chat. But all I'm saying is this. This center area, chat. You put some little tiny dinos. You put a Dilophosaurus or something, chat. You put a Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus sitting here in the bushes. And when you walk past, it's motion activated and it squirts water at you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, never let me get rich, chat. Oh, never let me get rich. I do I do some very stupid things, chat. I would do some very stupid things if I had a lot of money. Crucible anger two dollars keys to meet you. Background noise anger two dollars. Add sound robbers will never know what hit him. Oh my god. Oh, this is horrible though. This is horrible. I don't like this dragon shit going on. What the what the fuck is this? A little Adobe fireplace? That's cringe. I don't like that. I don't like that. This is what you see. Oh my god. This is when you go to a fucking gas station and you're looking at you go oh my god. This I bet you this exact pattern. This exact pattern. When you go to a gas station, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You go to a gas station, 
And you go into the shop because you have to use the restroom. And they have the wall of t-shirts. That's what this is from. Those branches in the rooms? Yeah. I don't know how you're gonna dust those. That'd be really annoying. I'd probably break them. Zena, thank you for the lawyers. Would you make Jurassic Park happen if you were rich? Oh, God, yeah. This is such a gas station t-shirt design. Holy shit. Holy mother of gas station t-shirt. But this is nice. I do like this. I think that's a real fireplace, too. Oh, no, it's not. They don't have a poker anywhere to put the wood. Never mind, it's not a real fireplace. <laughs> but I like the windows and stuff. Sleepy thing, this is just a kid's dentist lobby! Shut up! Why the tiny door? Tiny... <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> <gasps> what the fuck is the tiny door for? <gasps> Hello? Doggy door? It, there's a door handle! What do you mean a doggy door? It's on hinges! The dog doesn't know how to use the fucking handle! That's a turn knob! A dog doesn't know how to use that! Oh, it's ten besides. That makes sense. That makes sense. I commissioned this house and I made that door for Tenma. Whenever she wants to come over, she has her own private entrance. She got to be kids and come beep, you know, fireplace. Oh my god. I like this. I like the, the wood. This is probably actually like metal or something. I like this. I like this. This is not ugly. I asked you guys for ugly mansions. <laughs> and you sent me something beautiful. Look at this. I love this. I want to feel like I'm, I'm on vacation at a camping resort lodge thing. 24-7. Even though I've never actually been the one. Even though I've never actually been to, like, a camp lodge or anything. I want to feel like I'm living in one. I like this. This is the wood that you put in your lizard tanks. If you guys have ever had a lizard, this is this is that exact fucking piece of wood. This is that exact piece of wood you put in your lizard tank. <laughs> oh my god. What the, what's with the hand? What's with the fucking hand? Is that leftover from the demon summoning? Holy shit. Oh, that's an ominous photo. I don't know if I like that. That's a very ominous photo. Jesus. I like this. I like the little eagles down there. That's cute. That's cute. Fake windows. The windows are real, though. Look at the view. Yeah, Oregon's fucking beautiful. They have a deer. Oregon is fucking beautiful. Oh, look at that. I love these nice, thick shelves. I love these nice, thick shelves. So you can put a book there and forget about it and it gets sunburned. Sunstained. I love that. You put annoying shit up there like candles. This house is too much. You're too much. Okay, that mirror is kind of too much. This looks terrible. Oh my god, it's even whimsical on the outside. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna take a walk up my whimsical back steps to go to my whimsical gazebo. And the peacock. I like pine trees, I like this. Ah. Oh. This is cute. This is cute, I like this. I like this chat. I like all the natural lighting. I don't like the people can see in, but don't worry, there's not, there's not enough fucking people. When you're in Oregon, all right, and you're up in these fucking the houses up on the hill, all right, the, the, your next neighbor's not for quite a while. Somebody could sneak up on you though. That'd be uncomfortable. Oh, that's nice. This is um, this is kind of like single wide wall paneling though. That's what I associate this with. Single wides. Sauna room? No, I think it's just a giant closet. Holy mother of tacky! Holy mother of tacky! Okay, never mind, chat. We can throw this room out. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit! Also, carpet! Carpet! 
It's a fucking bathroom! Carve it in the fucking bathroom, dude! Oh, and you got the obnoxious as hell drawers to open. Oh my god. Oh god. Not only do you have carpeted floors, you have incredibly annoying drawers to open. They better be the push ones. You better lightly push on these things and then they pop out because this is this shit's too annoying. This shit's too annoying. Your sinks are so fucking long. And your faucet is so low. Chat, this is kind of a nitpick, but I like it when the faucet is up high. Okay? Because I like it when it's the middle of the night and I want to fill up a glass or whatever. I can just come in here and I can just like put the glass under it. And fill up my water. Or if I need to fill up something else. Make it nice and easy. It, why is it so low? Why is it so low? Tap water! Oh, shut up, Chad. Don't get... Don't fucking start on the tap water shit. You guys are so annoying. You guys are so annoying. You're too fucking good for tap water. Jesus Christ. Is it just me or is the tub surprisingly small? <laughs> Is it just me? Like, this feels like a small tub. For how over the top everything else is. Like, look at how over the top the fucking shower is. This shower is absolutely massive. This shower... ...is probably bigger than some of the fucking bedrooms. ...that I've had throughout my life. And then the tub is just kind of like a regular, like, large size tub. It's deep? It doesn't look that deep. I don't know. I don't know. This is cute. I like how you still have, like, the tree designs going on on, like, the, the tiles out here. That's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. They really like branches, though. Jesus Christ. They really fucking like branches. Oh, that's ugly! Holy shit, that is fucking ugly. Oh my god, it's kind of tripping up my brain. It looks like there should be like a seat here or something, but it's just a giant open chamber. Holy shit. Oh. Well, I like the rest of it. I like the rest of it. Uh, this feels kind of cheap to me. This feels kind of cheap to me. I don't know why. It just doesn't have, like, the same aesthetic as the rest of the house, I guess. Like, I guess not everything needs to be over the top. Like, this is a nice practical room, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. You, you had everything else that fancy. Why don't you just continue? Why don't you just continue the trend of making everything else look fancy, too? The budget ran out? Cheap? Compared to the rest of the fucking house! Yeah, it looks- Oh my fucking god, not the carpet again! WHO HURT YOU?! <laughs> WHO FUCKING HURT YOU?! Oh, God. Right underneath the fucking toilet. <gasps> right underneath the fucking toilet. <gasps> oh, my God. Are other people just more clean with their bathrooms than I am? Does nobody else, like, go and fucking lay in the fucking bathroom on the floor at night? In case they throw up? And then sometimes <laughs> throw up on the bathroom floor? You can't do that when you have carpet. No? Never mind. It's a beautiful wheel. Only done when I get really sick. Mm. On occasion, when I was out. Okay, so some people in chat understand me. Of something, Joyce. Imagine taking a drunk pee at the of the missing. <laughs> imagine you're a man. Imagine you're a man. And I'm not a man, so I'm just guessing. But the image I have in my head is a guy standing here, and it's like in the movies where they're like painting the wall with their pee, right? But in this scenario, not only are you getting it all over the fucking carpet. 
But you're also getting it in this little corner here. You get the perfect shot and it's gonna get right here and that's gonna be a pain in the ass to clean because you gotta squeeze your hand underneath the top part and the bottom part. Um, also, it's gonna be on this nice little counter here. So God forbid you have like hand towels or little knickknacks or anything else sitting up here because they're gonna get hit by the urine. Also, uh, there's a nice little window ledge here with all like the little crevices and the wood and shit. Oh yeah, there's just so many surfaces here for your pee to rest on. And this is where you hide the bodies. Now, I not hide the bodies, but this is where you dismantle the bodies. You store the bodies. You know what? You store the bodies here. And you dismantle them in here. A lot of arm space in here. A lot of arm space. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is, is you put some fucking... You finish this. You finish this. You put a wall here. And you can just put all the bodies in there. You can just put all the bodies in there. Do you think they went bankrupt building this house? Papa it's naked. With the noise puke slash piss in the tub. Mm. Oh, they have a cute little pond. You couldn't be bothered to make like a nice little fucking stone pathway down here? I think it's nice though. I think this is a nice house, chat. I'd live in this. I'd never be able to afford to live in this. But I'd live in this. It just sucks that it's in Ashland. It's a pool? Oh my god. Covered pool, nice. Isn't this a wave pool? This is a wave pool, right, chat? This is one of the things that goes like... <laughs> and it makes waves. Oh my god. It's like living in a theme park. What's going on over there? What is that? Ah, oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, beautiful. 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 The fuck is that? THEY HAVE A FUCKING SECOND LUNCH?! WHAT?! FUCK YOU! I FUCKING HATE RICH PEOPLE! I FUCKING HATE RICH PEOPLE! Shut the fuck up! Oh, it's back here, isn't it? Oh, I fucking hate people! I don't like the main house. I've decided I'd like to stay in the back house for a little while. I'm just feeling too overwhelmed by the beautiful, glorious architecture. My velociraptor is just not hitting the same way as it used to, so... I believe I will go out and I will... Live as the peasants do out in my... Normal-shaped... Suburbanite-style house. That is so annoying. This is so annoying. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's 700 acres? What? <gasps> HOLY SHIT! Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. At that point, it's a hunting cabin. At that point, you walk five feet, you're at your hunting cabin. Oh my god. AP, then you realize that's what's called an in law house. No, I call it a hunting cabin. <laughs> on site hunting cabin. Look what about anything, friend. Lord. Leave another dinosaur to put in the guest house. Yeah, I don't know what to put out there. <laughs> oh my god. Now she likes it. Now that I know it's 700 acres, yeah. I remember the $2. Imagine the property tax. Pippa Sweat. Mm. 
Mmm, land is like 80% of the price? Yeah, probably. Oh my god. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Huh! Facts and features, let's go. Let's see. Two bedrooms, four bath. What? Evil zombie time, <laughs> Nintendo is Pippa, you're one of my favorites. I have to ask though, will your avatar's neck ever move? What? Kinda, kinda. Oh my god, my neck doesn't move. Is it? <laughs> oh my god. Shut up. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about that! Cover snake thing for doors! I don't ironically live in the back house, bulldoze the fairy crap and build a garage. You're a fucking idiot. Why would you fucking bulldoze that? Why would you bulldoze that? Boner can donate things. You always build a shooting range. Bro, your fucking yard is a hunting ground. You don't need a shooting range. Just go hunting on your fucking property. Evil zombie telling. Uh, oh, I heard that. Uh, right, remember thing, uh, Tudor? Oh, I heard that. Am I caught up? This Laura thing, or Tudor? Stop it. Get some help. Stop right, snake thing. Oh, I heard that, though. Fuck. Hey, anything. For those carpeted bathroom means the house is not for. Or, the house is for show, not for living in. Really? Really? I don't know. With how many wannabe actors and theater kids and shit there are in, in Oregon? Man, I'd open that bitch up. I'd be like, yeah, you want to come film fucking movies on my property? Pay me. Or sad brother, Dolores, nice neck. Shut up, you're making me self-conscious! You're making me self-conscious! God. Okay, well, next submission. Next submission. Crescent Evil Mansion? This is a YouTube video. I had some missed stream elements earlier. Can you can you message a mod and and I will and I will I will check. If you guys ever if I ever miss your your stuff, please me, like message a moderator and I'll try to read them off at least at the very least like next stream. If I miss them this stream. Show neck. No. I'm not going to show you my fucking neck. I'm self-conscious now. Look at that! I love big trees! You're finally implementing a system to catch Miss Donos! I need to- I need to make it so that the moderators can see my Donos so I can... This is a Resident Evil Mansion. There's a puzzle, you have to hit these, and it unlocks the basement. This is abandoned? Oh my god. It's literally the Resident Evil Mansion. It's just missing the door here that leads down to the courtyard. Oh my god. This Resident Evil game looks so good, it does. I can't... Wow. They've come a long way, you know? I thought Resident Evil Village was already, like, a pretty outstanding game. Graphics-wise. But, you know, this really takes the cake. I can't believe they've gotten so impressive with this. What's up, Explorers? So, standing here today, out... Okay, it looks like a prison. When you frame it like that, it looks like a prison. Inside this beautiful mansion, built in the 1800s, the original building that once stood on this ground. This is literally the Spencer um, Mansion. Um, and this was built in its place. It's got over a hundred rooms, 44 bedrooms. This place is.
A hundred rooms, 40 bedrooms. Absolutely incredible. It's been abandoned for quite a while. They was going to restore it, so um, I know there's still power on. Um, but yeah, guys, just take a look. Look at this. Reminds me of kind of the Graceland kind of look. But, um, I don't know what Graceland is. get inside. Let's make it happen. Let's go. Let's Why go. Why is there so much background noise? Why is there so much fucking background noise? Well, they were going to restore it. Boys, you wanted a mansion. It's Elvis's house? <laughs> There's your is mansion. Is that what he said? Big Daddy. Big oh, Daddy. Gra oh, Graceland is where Elvis... Oh, okay. The size of this place. Oh, my God. You can hear the zombies in the background. I know. That's so incredible. I can't believe the mansion comes with built-in zombie ambiance. Zombie ambiance. That's fun to say. Zombie ambiance. Zombie ambiance. I like saying that. Yeah, this place looks scary as shit. I don't think I'd go in here. I don't care about you, George. Thank you, for those. It's a face connect streamer mansion. Oh no. Such a strange looking <laughs> This is, it's like a circus kind of room. Is this just a store? Oh yeah, there's like gasoline tanks and stuff in here. Jack is in front of the Oh, I read that. Oh, wow. I read that. Mr. Erling, where the two doors, one of the rooms so makes you a Pippa sandwich. The old wooden sink, guys. The old brass Almost tub. made me a Pippa sandwich. I mean, this is definitely old. You don't see this anymore. A deep sink? Yeah, you do. What? Yeah, you do. What do you mean you don't see these anymore? What, 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 do, you, what do you mean you don't see these anymore? Oh, I lived in a house with one of these. Oh, a wooden sink? Oh, is that what he's talking about? Oh, I thought he was talking about like these deep fucking um, wide sinks. It's got like a maybe a lead sort of basin. So what was I gonna say? What the fuck? Yeah, wash bins. Wash bins, that's what they're called. And basin things. Basin things. How beautiful is that? It's kind of got like a Victorian type era to it as well. I don't like it! This is creepy! I'm not really sure what these so if you know, please let me know. I like little alcoves. This is fucking creepy. This is incredible. Look at all the pictures. I don't think those are pictures. Look at this beautiful um, furniture as well. Roll. <laughs> Nobody thinks too large. Oh, I already read that. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Furniture as well. Beautiful furniture as well. Motherfucker, this is fucking like... You, you can find this shit at Goodwill. You can find this... Beautiful furniture as... Go to a thrift store. Go to a second-hand store. You'll find, you'll find this shit. You will find this shit. It's everywhere. They have it... They usually have it like right at the fucking store. They're just waiting. They're just praying somebody will impulse buy it. Talisman, thank you for, for, for gifting a big day! Thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you guys, Talisman! Beautiful work. Why are you trash talking goodwill? Stuff. I'm not, I'm trash talking this guy's fucking experience with life! Danger? Oh my god. This is like those fucking British person steps where they had no regulations on how steep steps could be. So they just made them however fucking big they wanted. So as far as I know, Box nothing in front of the I'd bring a box truck and loot as much of the copper and valuables as I could. Well, you're a bad right. person. I believe this was or was going to be turned into a hotel or was a hotel at some point. This is quite a late a smart hotel? TV there. I wonder when it was abandoned. Somebody in chat said five years abandoned? This looks way more damaged than just five years, but I guess if they did like a bunch of like tearing shit down. Just loving all the. The mansion is. Buy them for the, uh, the in studio. A, in a, if you look at this, in an ox blood red. <laughs> Beautiful piece of furniture. Come on, these fucking pieces of furniture suck. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm being a contrarian to literally everything he fucking says. But like these chairs are so not fucking comfortable. 
These fucking, I don't know what they're actually called. I call them like grandfather chairs. They are so not fucking comfortable. These things suck. Where'd you fancy being pinted like the French girls? I do happen to have uh, one of these in the street. Fancy yelling, but those are gang scrap. Yeah, this is nice. They look nice. They do look nice. But on Wing back chairs? Like, guys, mm. we don't know how long we got in here. There's literally cameras everywhere in this place that we've just spotted, so. Cameras everywhere. We're hoping to give you the biggest tour we can, but. An empty bathroom. Did he just sneak in here? He didn't get permission to film? <clears throat> you see the marble laid tops, the quality that went into these. And a lot of these used to be like a pool store. Hey, Gabe, it's all matching. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes they have a little cool store in there, don't they? Did you just say piss pot? Did you just say piss pot? Tell me that's not what that was. Chad, tell me that wasn't a piss pot. I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, look at the uh, dress chest or draft set. That's Pop disgusting. Up. That is disgusting. Pop a marble lay in there, isn't it? What else are you supposed to use? Well, they have fucking flat screen television. Two rooms over from this? I don't know. Maybe, maybe the bathroom? Look at the quality though. Maybe the look fucking the bathroom that they would have, they must have installed? No plumbing? You're telling me they don't have plumbing, but they have a flat screen television? Shut up. Shut the fuck up. It's got quite like a, an ori oriental sort of feel to it. You can't say that. I could be wrong. This hallway, guys, look straight down there. Oh, you're gonna die in here. Oh, he's gonna die in here. Oh my god. I'm not even to the lies. To this is fucking furniture. terrifying. And these old portraits. Portraits. The gorgeous bed. Did you see it? I love all this. I love all this. It's, you can tell it's all hand done as well because nothing will be the same. Like this side mm. probably won't look the same as that side. Probably. Why don't you go check? Lamps. Just the furniture. Not the duvet. This place you would need. Did they have vomit or shut up? Shut so, the hell up! It's even on the shower basin. What else are you going to use, Peppa? There's no plumbing. There's no plumbing, Peppa. Use the chamber pot, Peppa. Peppa, Peppa, it's an old mansion. There's no plumbing. There's no plumbing, Jet. Oh, there's no plumbing. It's a chamber pot. Oh, shut up, puke drawer. Shut up, puke drawer. Why are you so put off, puke drawer? There's no plumbing. It's a start. Shut the fuck up. Wooden paneling around the windows. As I said, the bath is... Shut the fuck up. See, look, with no light on, you can see just how dark this place is. With the boards on the window. Arc lighting on the big, big day for a membership milestone chat. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. But you see how every room is just literally greeted by. This is just a walkway between a bedroom and another bathroom that's literally full of portraits. Painted. That is so creepy. Like that. I don't want to touch it with my hands because you all over my skin, but. You shouldn't touch paintings, anyways. This whole map. Now the question is, is are they real paintings? Look at this. Wow, guys, I'm just, it's incredible. I'm very curious if they're actually real paintings. I'd like him to like put the camera up closer so we could actually see. Why didn't they just sell them? Because people like this are lazy. Probably. Oh, I can smell they're not real Pippa, they're paintings. Oh my god. They have mini fridges, chat. They have fucking mini fridges. Don't ever come at me about the bathroom ever again. Don't ever, ever fucking, don't ever fucking say anything about fucking they don't have plumbing ever again. I'll smack you guys upside the fucking head. Thank you. A light come on for me. So you can Jesus. see when they did start There are a lot of prints with fake texture. I see them in the offices. All the time in the offices and stuff. I love yeah. they've kept the originality of the old um, mm. bits. I don't yeah, know what's a real painting or not anymore. Place. The network closet? Mm. Tandem toilets? Is that what they were? Just by seeing a few of the rooms that we've already seen. 
There was a wall between them. This would have been here, like there was a wall between the toilets. Yeah, see, there's a wall. There's a wall, you freak. I mean, this is actually you, really nice. you were saying I what you wanted to see. You wanted yeah. them to be tanned in toilets. Is that a noose? I don't think so. So you can see that when they did start the renovation. So no, it's, it's not nooses, it's re just, um, they're putting the wires up. Oh, oh. wait. Maybe. I love how they've kept the originality of the old, um, bits. And here we've got an old stone fireplace. Maybe. There's a wire, it's gotta be a wire. Hey, it's, it's gotta, gotta be a wire. A few of the rooms that we've already seen. I mean, I thought this would have been here, like another old sink. Jesus. In every window that you can see, that's the old staircase there. This is terrifying. This is fucking terrifying, Chad. I do not like this place. I do not like this place, Chad. Jesus Christ. Yeah, said Victorian era. Loving the old cast iron radiance. Oh that's my god. You gotta put a little gate there on the fucking basement stairs. <laughs> make sure the demons don't crawl out. They don't know how to open gates. It's okay. Just make sure when you have a fucking basement and you, you put a guardrail around it and you put a nice little gate on there. Oh, wow. Look at this. Holy shit. Honestly, absolutely incredible. Faces on it. That's awesome. It's like a painted, like gold leaf painting. Yeah. That's hideous. Jesus Christ. Was it's it huge and unlit. Of course it's creepy. Yeah. They should, they should fucking rent this shit out for horror movies. Fit, like, brass fittings in, because you imagine this all cleaned up when it was brand new. All the brass handles, the marble top shining. What is this? I think that's what they call a quarter. A corona. The fuck is a corona? The fuck is a corona? So, yeah. Beautiful. Every room is absolutely Not in the UK? Gorgeous. Look at the gorgeous writing desk. I'd love to have this in my studio. Kroner? Is it Corona or Kroner? Imagine my computer here doing a vlog. I'd just be so proud sitting at that desk. Swedish Kroner? Is that what they... Is that where they are? Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Amazing, <laughs> amazing uh, explore of another tragedy... Why do we not protect this heritage of our... What? What? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Why do we not protect this her our heritage? It's a fucking rich person's house. It's a rich person's house. Who cares? Floor standing mirror, but it's actually a... It's a shame that it went to waste, but Even like... Cornflakes. Heritage? You didn't live there. It's in Wales? Oh. So the date on these. Our heritage. Cornflakes. And still, uh, 2000. They actually just went out. Ah, damn. Literally. No, they go out in a few days. That's quite, uh, quite worrying. Oh, yeah, that's why I just it off. Jesus. <laughs> the Pope. I'm going to put this here. I think, I, I think some houses are worth... Let me turn that down a bit. I think some houses are genuinely worth, like, keeping, right? That would have scared the fucking hell out of me. Holy shit. <laughs> there are some things that are worth preserving, in my opinion. Right? <laughs> but the thing with like these giant mansions and shit is that most of the time they're just where some fucking rich people lived. They're just where some fucking rich people lived. And if you preserved every single house that a fucking rich person lived in. No, no. It'd just be fucking waste. And it takes so, so much to like renovate and upgrade these fucking things. The house was built in the 1800s. Mediocre rich person abode, yeah. Now, if this was like, if this was like the house of like a fucking, the president. Okay, if this is where the fucking president lived. And he was actually like a relevant pistol. Pit pistol. Pi <laughs> That's what I'd use to murder a homeless man. Anyways, um, if it was actually.
talking like a relevant president, right? I'm talking like I'm talking like George Washington. If this was George Washington's <laughs> Oh, if this was George Washington's home, I'm so easily distracted. <laughs> oh my god. Um. What was I saying? I'm so I got so distracted. I got so. If it's like an actually important person, all right, then you fucking go through the labor of preserving their house. But all I'm saying is if you're going to be like preserving history, which I think you should do. I think you should do. I think there are much more interesting things, in my opinion, to be preserving. I think there are much more interesting things to be preserving. Like warships. I think it's a fucking shame that so many warships end up being fucking dismantled for scrap. That is that is something that I think serves way more, way more of a uh I guess just purpose. Stop touching shit! Um, God, it looks like a fucking Resident Evil concept art piece. Holy shit. Entertainingly expensive to maintain? Yeah. Well, so are these fucking huge-ass mansions. All I'm saying is, like, if you're not picking choose and shit, I just don't think, like, a random rich person's house is worth it. I don't think a random fucking rich person's house is worth it. I don't. I don't. I do think cities, though, and towns, should preserve at least, like, one house. Like we've got to work the puzzle out for the next bit. Oh, is this a fucking dungeon? Oh my god. There's a ship turned into a museum in northern Italy. There's a few. There's a few. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck? Imagine being the servants down here and stuff. They actually had a fucking dungeon. Oh, Holy shit. Switches. Holy shit. That fun <laughs> dining room. All the old oh my god. We're like circuit. we're like at the end of stream here. Oh my god. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mute that. I'm gonna let that play. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name's Tipkin Tippa and I'm gonna read off some motherfucking names. This is this is terrifying though. This is fucking terrifying. I don't like that. I don't like the dungeon. I don't like the dungeon. This is where they tortured the peasants, yeah. Yeah, I think I think things that are more interesting and serve more like historical value to preserve. I kept getting distracted by the house. Okay, but now I'm speaking seriously. Something that has more historical value, in my opinion, are things like old jails. Uh the house of like very influential people. <laughs> Maybe not like influential in terms of like, oh, they were like so rich or whatever, but yeah, like George Washington's house or whatever the fuck, right? Community culture. Things like, things like, oh, you know, this is, this was like the first business that ever opened up. This was like the fuck XQC's house in 200 years? No. But, uh, Walmart, you know, we found out in that other stream that the first Walmart wasn't preserved. And I think that's kind of, I think that's kind of a shame. I think that's kind of a shame that the first Walmart was not preserved. But it's Walmart, they don't care about that kind of shit. They do not care about that kind of shit. The first McDonald's wasn't either, that's a shame. But yeah. But yeah. Like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very much for preservation, right? But, like, unless these people had, like, a massive fucking, like, influence over the local <laughs> town and they're like, yeah, let's put our money into keeping this place afloat. It just doesn't seem worth it. It just doesn't seem worth it. You know what rich people are? They're a bunch of fucking assholes. A lot of rich people are just fucking assholes. Why bother preserving their fucking house? Who cares? Good riddance. Anyways, 
Cecil Colling, my daughter's big brain move, be a rich and famous person to live on a warship. Oh my god. Oh my god. Claw marks. Now, I think it was like from them carrying stuff and it scraping along the walls. Probably, hopefully. Hopefully it was not claw marks. Hopefully it was not claw marks. Winston, thank you for the two dollars. Figured my issue, Pip. I'm good now, Pip. Well, I'm good. I'm burrowing. Five dollars, I'll buy the house now. We'll restore it. Just need a million dollars and a couple more to restore. <laughs> if the Vito thing, five dollars scrapping Enterprise CV6 was a crime, it was. Um, I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any Enterprises that have been preserved. Right? I think the latest, I think the latest model of Enterprise also just got, um, scrapped. Not one. Yeah, that's criminal. That's fucking criminal. Pieces were, but not a whole ship. Mm. Uh, Paws and Pausing, Jewelers and Mountain Vernon, they preserved the shit out of it. Happy they are renovating the old movie theater in the city I live next to. Place has an orchestra pit and organ built in for when movies needed those things to play the score for them. That's fucking badass. See, now that's something that's worth preserving. Now that is like a fucking, like... That is... Kitty Hawk, I have a model kit of her I've been meaning to build. Um... I feel like that's something that's worth preserving, right? That's something that's more worth investing in than just like a fucking rich person's house. Like, that's, that's a real piece of culture. In my opinion. But that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Let me move this over so it doesn't keep closing. You'd rather buy a smaller house? Probably, yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'm gonna read off the names now. Uh, if you like my content, be sure to hit the subscribe button! Do it! Even out my ratio, bitch! Ratio me. Ratio me. I, still, I feel so try hard to ask for subs. Thing for dollars, pippers. Can you put on the auto subtitles? I can't hear for shit. I I can't. You. I don't think auto translate uh, the, the the closed captioning. I don't think it's gonna be able to pick up what they're saying. They're speaking some sort of European dialect. It doesn't make any sense. Closed captioning will do no good. They don't speak right. Thank you so much for stopping by! Blank, oh bounce, one, two, three, four, five, seven, four, seven, four, eight, six, nine, five tubes of boost, taco beat, nine thousand flare. Ah! Ah! I like your name. Aegis! AGD Leaf! Achille Kazuya, Anurshin, Anonymous, Ter, Anzu the Weeb, AP, Archive Bro, Arga Blargo, Arid, Ari Frank Gonzalez, Auxiliary Character, Azathal, Azahara, Background Noise, Bahamut, Bear in the Woods, Bever Winning Beats, Beef Pie, Belly Dora Dispicio, Berserk Rage, Bilbo Swaggins, Billy Witch Doctor, Blaze Got him. I got him. Um, Bloody Overdrive, Blue Sky, Bona Tide, Bongo Bingo, Tango Mango, Board Cliffs, Brian Lane, Budetto, uh, Cactus Block, Captain Fields, Carp Drake, Kazmaz, Cheeto, Chuddly, ch Chuddly Cuddly, Chuddy Cuddle. The names are moving. I'm gonna put on a copyrighted song. I'm gonna go insane listening to Wii Shop Music. I've abused it just a bit too much. I've abused Wii Shop Music just a little bit too much, and I'm kind of, I'm kind, I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting sick of the fucking Wii Shop Music. Um, what should I put on? What I, what should I put on? Oh my God, Mumei's doing a rant stream. I'm totally not gonna go watch that after this. <laughs> I'm totally not gonna go do that. I would never. I would never. Kirby. Kirby. Oh wait, you know what I'm gonna put on? You know what I'm gonna put on? I saw. I saw somebody say we shop a remix. Do we have any of the ones with like the animes and the Snoop Dogs? Hell, breezy. Let me show you how to keep the dice rolling when you're doing that thing over there. Huh? Probably close enough. Hey, 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 I don't think there's any anime in this, but that's okay. Thank you! Time to continue reading. Oh god, I've got the name list is expanding. Tweedo, Trench, Cheetah, Cypher, Cookin, Attack, Cody, Crocodile, and a Crossbone, Vanguard, Cypher, D19, Dolly, Lama, Dapper, Wolf, Dark, Darkest Phoenix, Data Pack, David, DeVito, DC, Miska, The Mad Gaming, D's Nutter, Denied, Derby Guide, Deslores, Desu, Double Hitman, Diego, Rabago, Dyed Water, Dirty Sucks, Sucks, Dick, Dust Plains, E Creator, Eel, All Father, and War, and Zilla. 
Um, Eagle is dead, Eric Dippin is, a little zombie kill, explosive deleted, Charles and Freeze, French fries, Fresno, Fugo, Barracoon, Cabri, Gasly Gas, Gibran Gibran, Gideon Rico, Gerardo Sanchez, Gizelle, 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 some kind? What's a pretty name? Dolphin Slayer, Gold Heart Dragon, Grease Man, Great Days, Grand Skull, Guidas, Handsome Mark, Happy Trail, Happy Mars, Harmon Monkly, Hikimori Charlie, Hikimoto, Helltech, Hunt Men, he's the only hope again, I'm Binary Mind, I'm Crazy, I'm Pinhead, I Smears, and Perfection, and Buster Flurry, and our friend Arsalan. I'll immediately start out playing this now. We already listened to this recently. Hold on. Um. 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 There we go. Oh my god, where was I? I forgot to highlight. Great as his work, happy trail, happy Mars, Harmon Monkley, he can more entirely, he can model hill jump, hum then, he's long, I, I live again, I am Bender Man, I am crazy, I am pissed, I swear, I'm perfection, and Buster Florian, Erfan, Arzalan, Ethan Wills, Yomu, Killershot, Jackie, Jacob, James, Jim Jameson, Jim Beck, Sahin, Jason, Guerrero, Jaden Clark, uh, JD Cullen, Jilly, hey! Jason Cobb, Jake, JJ Smith, JJ Big, Gail Sometimes, Time, Joe, Joe, John Garrison, Jose Fernandez, Junior Adams, Juan Cardona, Juan Escalante, Julian, Just Jester, Parkour, Colonel, Color Fe, Happy Birthday, He's not High Time, Nine, Coco Noe, Coco Jean Plus, Coco Wick, Crazy, Fifteen, Uh, Case the Rock, Kelly Kitty Cat, Coco Moe, Chris Schwartz, Kylie, Huck Woodward, Lantern, Lynn, Schneck, the Larry, Lars Sabro, Late Limo, Leonardo Lolo, Lil Remlin, Lucky Chris, Lee's Fish, Yeah, sure, we'll all play that. Liquid Chris, Leaf Fish, Lil Cool T, Lil Go Nerd, Lonely Mascot, Lonzo Mason, Lil Royal Cal, Lupus Ebrius, Lupus Tony, Evan Tony, Marcus Dinicus, Marty Mario Gutierrez, Mark Knight, Master Hellion, Metal Up, Matism, Matthew McKellar, Matthias Camrell, Madison Melancholy, Margaret Troy, Matthewism, The Dory Dorky, Nick Land, Mal Lil City, Mick Miko Thematico, Mr. Yura, Mitchell Bader, and Maduro Logger. I don't know how to say your name, I'm so sorry. Mogo, Monkey's Uncle, Moon Berserker, Mr. Cloud Guy, Mr. Jellyfish, Mustafa, uh, Nobody, and the three, Made Heart to Bliss, No, Nez Rai, Night Owl, No More, No Name, Nobody, No Be Pet, No, The One of Us, Normal, Osun and Freedom, Oddball Freedom, Onwin, One, Untack, Okina, Tungus, Optimal, Orange Cobra Man, P18, Parodius, Partially Impartial, Pals, Impel, Pelbo, Peruza, Pepod, Miss, Pippa's Lack of Milk, Curse, Shut Up, Pop Wild Wolf, Probilidator, Punic Slayer, uh, Pixelation, Crunchable Orange Juice, Quietly, R&D Depot, Radical, ra ra Radical, in, oh, Radical Edward, I'm so dumb. Raphael, oh, Manson, Raphael Furio, Raiden, Ray Yang, Razmaz, Ray Varaj, Red Remover, Wii NPC, Retrograde Rustic, Revolver, Rex Arata, which I returned, Mob H, Rodwell, Rodrigo Seraphine, Rogue Jen, Rudica, Roscoe, Rooney Yoma, Rooney Yomo, Rusty Shack of Word, Rusty Rell, Rydian, Salamander, Salami, Sandwiches, Sashimi Sub, Sasuke Puppet, Sausage Candles, Snagales, Pipper, Schneidy, Sil Sebastian Zerbez, Secret Secret, Shane Tramel, Sh Shigati BQ, Sigon Zero, Sinny, Sir Bell Lomore, Skit Time, Skike, Snowy Snagerson, Solze, Slim Polygon, Sonic Tigers, Sp Spaceman Pika! Pikas are very cute. Uh, Spectre of Sandy, Spiro, Spider Dude, Spoon, Squishy, Stardust, Reverie, Stone, Stone Turtle, Shower of Hellos, Sigma Dick, T90, Tamago, Tim More Spectre, thank you, Pika! Thank you! Beta Guy, the video game fail, the video game. Oh, the little guy, the God King, the King of Toasters, as well as Sunny Hubble, the Sword of Mind Dividing Association, the Big Sweet, the Internet Man, the Shape Yeti, Thomas Hood, Tom Solar, Tim R, Toasty Boy, Tomato Houses, Friend, Fine Nitro Jack, Chucky, Sting the Hat, Travel, Twist Meyer, Uncle Sam, Undead Wolf, on the cover look. Ah, Zach Roll, uh, Vardis, Lundell, Vash, Vichuba, Vildua, Verde, Manzana, Griff, Winterhead Jr., Waldo, Wilson, Wong, Princess of Luck, Wilma, Wolfsman, Winsome Apple Strudel, Zalag, Zenmar, Zincro, XYZ, Y2 Men, Yo Boyel, Yoko Automata, You Wear Like Cinnamon, Your Friend, You May Leave, Lost in Memory. You know they made it so on YouTube you can separate your name with more spaces now. Before you had to do like a first name and a last name, but on YouTube now you can put it to whatever you want. You can put spaces there. Yusef, Requiem, Zentetsu, Zena, Zufield, Zuhark, JC, uh, Rosita, Uni, Kraken of the Sea, and Blank! Thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you tomorrow! Bye bye! Remind me, I have a company meeting tomorrow. <laughs> I slept through the last one. Sacred karaoke and screen! Oh my god! Holy moly, my 
What should we do? Our house. In the middle of the city. Our house. It's a song used on commercials. How does the rest of that song even go? I don't... Eminem? I don't remember how the rest of that song goes. I think I just sang the only part of it I know. Our house. On the middle of the street. Our house. You don't have to wash your feet. Our house. We <laughs> get up and do it. Nah. Nah. Um. Um. I don't think so. That's how it goes, but that's how it should. Yeah. The roof is on fire. Our house. The roof is on fire. Our house. Is that how it goes? The roof is on fire. What is this? Now. Now. I don't know this song. I've heard it before, but I don't I don't like know it well enough to sing it. Now. Now. How way the hell? That's fluffy tail. I can try Ken Ashcarp song. I feel like it doesn't really fit the team 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 team. team, team. What songs did, are there karaoke of? Oh my god, when you type in Ken Ashcorp karaoke, I come up. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna butcher it. I'm gonna butcher it. Banana, 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 banana. Got a fetish for fun Oh, there's no rubber knee socks in an oversized sweatshirt. Chicky goes right to my heart. She comes a knocking with a stocking, and I get her. I get the feeling I'm in deep. Troubled waters, but they're only thigh high. This kind of girl don't get no sleep. Your father skipped the starter, strap those goddess up a man. Check the pattern on your skirt I see your front and see your tongue It's so sick I and mean, I can't resist the way you flirt I should be dead but my heart beats quick And I get the feeling less is more it's an excuse just to shake your little derriere That ratio of perfect score A girl's status is measured by a derriere Back now, maybe you can help me get what I want Curb your little spine and tell me that your mind is all about the game and what you flaunt Yeah, I know that there's no pleasing you When you know that you're not teasing me She's an absolute terror for absolute territory I'm running out of breath! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God, I have to do a song recording today. Oh, my God, just do it.
Double taking, yeah, I'm gonna let you know it shows This kind of girl just can't be beaten She whispers in my ear Take off your clothes Down, but you got your back and now Maybe you can help me get what I want I'll curb your little spine And tell me that you're mine It's all about the game and what you flung Yeah, I know that there's no pleasing you When you know that you're not teasing me She's an absolute tap for absolute tap for a Lord Cypher Lang with two Ooh, I miss Pippa's neck! Shut up, Billy. What's happening, Dungeon Boys? Thanks for the stream. Wrap up these little streams are always great. Thank you. Look, he's in the head to hide. Thank you for $5. I enjoyed my stay. XPCL. Pippa Zombie telling her the $50. Holy shit. For joking about your neck. Even if I'm right. Shut up. Thank you for the $50, though. Holy shit. If you haven't stayed this long, I'm sorry. You might have clicked off by now. Ah! Where'd my streamline go? Did I click off? Oh my god, I keep clicking off, and that's so dumb. That's so dumb. Every time I click off, I have to hit the go live button. I have to, I have to wait for that shit to load, and it takes forever. And then I have to click on my stream, and that shit takes a while, because YouTube sucks! What's something about two dollars? Girl, that song is so fire! Pippa Laura, thank you! Thank you! You don't have to lie to me, though. Okay, who do I raid? Because online. I always online. Why am I live on Twitch? I can't read on the Twitch! I'm on YouTube! Oh, jeez. Did you double dono by accident? Uluka? Right the Uluka? I just can. She's still morbid. Alright, I'm gonna wait in her. Good night!